Ray's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. This is just a fun podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs> Till that... Judy Gold shows up. Oh, hey, come on now. No, I like Judy. But, yeah, uh, but... She's a little combative. <laughs> she, wouldn't you be? If you were eight feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, it's going to be a good show today. I'm very excited. Uh, two of my favorite people are here right now. Uh, me and uh, me. Gabby and Mike. Uh, I love you guys. <laughs> uh... And Joe and Mark Norman. Hey, hey. The greatest name you could have if you if you live in Boston. Do it, my friend Mark Norman. What are you doing right now? I got. You ever get little stomach quivers? No. Quivers. Like a low body, like a zap. No. No, that's really... anybody. You might have an intestinitis. What's yeah, that? That's actually where your intestines um, get clogged up, and then when when it actually has enough pressure, it bursts. Yes. And it will uh, expand the actual. Uh, 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 intestine. Uh huh. And sometimes it breaks. If it breaks, you're done. You just got shit. Done. Shooting. Into is that your real? I mean, is that no, what I have? I, you I think? made up every single word. Yeah. Because I get. Like, is made up. I, I just made that up. Occasional. Good improv, though. Thank you, man. We really I, yes and. Yeah, we were really good together. Yeah. Yeah, we should start a group over at Yes and Bay. Who? It's a French oh. UCB. <laughs> but do you yeah, guys yeah. get like random things? All of a sudden, you get a quiver or like a. Whoa! You got another one? This is occasionally. Because today you had one earlier. Chipotle. <laughs> Almost exclusively. I have a lump on my side. What do you mean? It was like a lump, like a lumpy thing on my... my... Don? <laughs> Might be a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'd be a lump on her side. <laughs> See, that got me you choke and then me choke. I don't want to be all Louis J. gomez here, but uh, it is a little hurtful that none of us are in the intro. You got Amy Schumer in there, yep. and you got Joe DeRose in yep. there. Wait, throw, it, uh, throw a listy. You don't even need soda or Louis. You're Just in there. Me. <laughs> You're in there. I don't think so. Yeah, you are. I didn't hear me. Yeah, like yeah, that, that's, that was your that was your thing on the podcast. You only said things every once in a while, but it was the truth. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just didn't hear it in the intro. All music. right, I'll put you in. What do you say? Something right now that we can throw in. AIDS. All right, <laughs> then it's in. That's what you're getting. Also, can you do me a favor, Bob? I know we talked about oh this. Oh my god, off- what is this fucking therapy? I know we talked about this off off oh, mic. Boy. Yeah, what? Can you educate some of your new people? I got the lovely Gabby, beautiful woman, nice oh, person. She's away. calling me I mean, she's and right. saying, we do a Yankee swap. You bring in a gift. <laughs> I made up the Yankee swap. I'm the Yankee swap. You got to tell these people. This guy's asking me to sign the thing. Oh, my. Uh, it's my show. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I've been on the show since 1997. I don't even know who this guy is. Who is it's, this game? It's... <laughs> He's from the Bronx, and she's wearing a mechanic's jumpsuit for I some am. reason. Yeah. No, I'll tell you why. It's she was attention. 11 when I came uh. on the show. <laughs> it's attention? It's the uh, only reason you Maybe wore I that. Maybe I like to move freely, okay? Maybe <laughs> well, I have a lot of wiggle room. Well, I wear it. sweatpants. You look like you're going to no. roll out from underneath the desk. Right. Yeah. Like, a mechanic's uh, creeper. <laughs> you, really, you look like you're in Grease 3. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on the T-Birds. Yeah, she's in Grease yeah. 3 going, John Travolta is a guy he was in. I got it. He Where's dances. The, Where's the bomb Santa bandana? Santa? Where's the bomb bandana? Uh. Hold on. Explain to me what the bomb data is. <laughs> Where's the bomb Explain bandana? Bomb. And it's the bomb data. It's not the bomb bandana. Can you bandana. throw it in his face if he can hit his chin? Oh, I think I heard what it. What are you doing? I got a cold. Don't do that. <laughs> in my microphone. Hear Judy. You just gave the whoever sits there next get your cold. Oh, I'm sitting here next. Judy's I'm coming. on the show. Everybody play cool. Judy's coming. I can, it's like the T-Rex. I can see the water shaking. <laughs> <laughs> is she coming? I think so. I can feel it. Oh, my God. Will you oh, yeah. stop? I'm nervous. How did she get in? <coughs> she kicked the door in. She had lesbian powers? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, political Can time. somebody go see if Judy's coming up, please? Lesbian she's, powers sounds like an American st- gladiator. She's going to stop at the top of the stairs and take a 10-minute break when she gets there. That's true. That's she's true. She's going through they, menopause. They call, that, call that pulling a bobby. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's not Judy. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Oh, my hey. God. I thought Lewis got fat again. That guy's not fat. That guy's huge. He got taller. I'm it's kidding. Like Hi, how, how are you? Hey, how are you? Great <laughs> hair. We have some uh, some guests Hi. coming in, uh, regular guests actually, who've been on uh, before. Uh, that wasn't Judy. It was just two people. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get this going today. We have a great show for you. Amelia Earhart. Um, it's 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 rather annoying. It's a little odd. A, a, a one piece, a one piece, Dicky. Yes. For a, for a, a, a 
a little cute blonde like her. It's very <gasps> you're trying too hard to be trendy. You're jealous of me. I'm what? <laughs> yes, I am. I wish I was a little thin blonde from you wish Queens. You were wearing this onesie. I wish I could get in that right now. I that's why I can't go to a skydiving simulator, which I'd love to do. I just don't know if the <laughs> propeller would actually give me lift or they'd have a onesie because you have to wear those little onesies. Anything like go-karts when you have to put those little the onesies on. Uh-huh. I know I'm not I would love to go go-kart riding, but I know number one, they're not gonna have that onesie. Right. That's gonna fit me. And, and you I'm can't, yeah. you can't paint. What? You can't paint. Why? They wear those things. Oh, the onesies? The jumpsuit. Oh, the big white one. Yeah, the white one. You can paint without. You can do so. You can paint your own clothes. Speaking of the big white one, who wants to see my dick? (laughs) It's not white. It used to be white. Now now it's it's, polka dot. Yeah, now it's it's, it's all beat up. (laughs) It's brown. It's got a thumbprint. But could you tell Gabby that I'm, uh, I'm part of the show? I've been around. Gabby. Yes. Joe started Yankee Swap. Started the Yankee Swap. Okay. Started. <laughs> you should make her listen to every episode from 1998 yes. on. Research. I mean, I'm not fucking with this team is the best team I've assembled. This is the Avengers. I go to battle with these three. <laughs> no. He's on video. Mushy Mike is killing it on social media and everything else. And Gabby's knocking it out of the fucking park with booking this show and having everything prepared. No. So I'm not fucking with it. If she, she wants to think that she invented Yankee Swap, you invented no, Yankee Swap. She's doing idea. a great job of explaining my ideas to me. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. This Oops. is it for real. This is no longer a practice run. Th- this jumpsuit is bugging. Is it bugging it's, anybody? I don't like it. She's I mean, fixing choppers. It's cultural <laughs> appropriation. Right. What culture? Wow. He took a breath. Les- he took a, oh my God, they're going to laugh at this breath. He went, oh, yeah. cultural appropriation. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it was like a, a Nick DiPaolo sip. You cocksucker. If you ever, if you ever take a, they're going to laugh at this breath again, you're fired. And he didn't breath. even have a culture in mind when he made the show. <laughs> it was mine, but that's fine. Puerto Rican? Mexican. Mexican. Oh, oh they fix shit. Yeah. He's wearing Dickies also. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, Dickies started with Whitey, but who's mm-hmm. counting? And yeah. he appropriated it. So anyways, we have a great show lined up. Uh, Judy's coming up. Oh, I think that's God. Judy. I don't or think we you never met Judy Gold. No, I'm scared she's going to be like, who's this new guy? And I have to be like, I'm doing comedy 25 years. Tell her you years. started Yankee Swap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They're already That's laughing. Her. Is she loud? She's already hitting on the mechanic chick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, boy. Just as I predicted. Oh, my How you doing, Jude? Oh, here he is. Hey, Jude. Are you going to be nasty to me? No. Sure. That's our thing. No, that's your thing. Oh. All right. Well, it's good to see you. God. All right. Uh, you know what, Who's being nasty now? Judy? You know you have you coming on the podcast. I love you. You know that. But when you come on, it's like my mother just showed up because you start embarrassing me in front of my friends. That's what my, my son Ben is like. Uh, yeah, talking to the air. We're on a fucking podcast. There's a microphone in front. I made it red so you know where it is. There you are. He was trashing you before he came up here. No, he was trashing. I'm just you. saying your presence. <laughs> yeah. He's, you know what? You're, uh, you're jeez. Mean today, I'm not mean. I'm a fan. Why are you scared right now? Kid. Why are you scared right yes, now? Yes, I'm a loved one. No, he's like, you know, he's like one of my kids. <coughs> yeah. No, here's the deal. Yes. You smell great, ben, by the way. Thanks. You do hey. smell great. You yeah. know, I bathe now. I just started. <laughs> you really, good. you yeah, always thanks. smell great and you always look great. Yeah. Robert, what do you need from me? I don't know. Maybe some more menopause photos on Instagram. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What? Okay? They're funny. <laughs> do you know how many women thank me for that? How many? A lot. How many? Name it. Three. I bet three. No, I get thank you very much. It's so hard to go through this and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So you're going through menopause. And what happens? You get But I'm not sleep. even in menopause yet. I got my period in July. You're Whoa. pre-menopause. Yeah, and I'm 55 years old. You got it's your like period? I'm never fucking going to end this. What does it look like at your age to get your period? Is it thicker? No, it is. It's like ragu. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's like a, like when I was 13. It's like a regular full huh. on period. Really? Yeah. And now do you get cr- are the cramps yes. just as bad? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your heating Boots. pad? You know, that I haven't used that since my I was... My ex was a big heating yeah. pad. Orgasms that, are supposed to be good for yeah, it, which dying. I always tell my wife, and she thinks that I'm lying, trying no, to be selfish and get con- laid. contraction. So if you, mm. if you had a... Contraction. If you had a... Do you know if, Joe? Yeah, I know okay, Joe. Okay, just checking. You nice to see he you. He said you did. Joe. Everybody's nervous I'm around... nervous. Why, why is everybody why? nervous around Judy? You guys Mark aren't nervous around Louis Louis Gomez. She comes up. An eight-foot lesbian walks up, and you get all fucking nervous. Well, we saw Judy on TV when we were young youths. I know. And I was so 10 old. years into comedy. What right? Do? 55, you look great. Hold yeah. out of hair. You look really good for 55. You're 55? You're not supposed to add that. Holy sweet. shit. You're not supposed to say for the age. What? You just she... say you look good. But she looks good for her age. Um, should we tell them when the wedding is and everything? 
<laughs> oh yeah, we're getting hitched. Yeah, really? Uh huh. Yeah. Amazing. I think it's good for my career. Would you bang Mark? No. Well, she's you know I'm into the lesbian. gash. It w- I mean, but <laughs> I, I'm not into Don't call the it erect a gash. penis. All right, she's I'm not into, into the twat, it. the trim, the <laughs> clam. I'm not into it. <laughs> the bubble gum. <laughs> Where's my water Bubble. and coffee? This, like it's right. Else I don't know. Oh, Talk. Hand her that water. Oh, yeah. yeah. I already Why are we missing a water, Quickly. guys? I you know, I just commended Einstein my staff. Wine, wine is coming. Can we just get late. the water and stop staring at you? She got other? one. She got one. No, no, we got to get I one got for it Rachel. for her, just like I came up with the Michael. Yankee swap idea. What's for? All right, listen. All right, let, yeah, go ahead. First of all, I have to. I have an ad right up front. I'm going to do it. Fuck off. And it, and it's very. Uh, is it for fuck off? No, it's one of my favorite. I'm so excited that they came on. Joe, you know I'm a I'm a griller. I'm a barbecue guy. A gorilla, yes. You're a big gorilla. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you said? That's not what I said. A like griller. Glasses. Thank you. I Where'd like you yours. Get them? I got them at uh, on Central Park Boulevard. They're called Geeks. Geeks. That's the name of the brand. Central Park Boulevard. Where? In uh, in uh, in um, Westchester. Uh, Westchester. I like those. G e e k s. Yeah, geeks. geeks. The, how do you, okay? You, you can spell it other ways. How? It could be geeks with a Z if it's could like be, street. Yeah, it could be ge- geeks. Can you stop G-E-E-X, helping her? X geeks. She doesn't even know who you are. Well, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was. I, you're my friend. I know. I'm saying it could have been geeks with a Z. I the, stuck up with you with Gabby. No, that would be geez. No, geeks ends in a Z like the African Americans. KZ. They do What'd Z's. You say? Oh, listen. The plural. That's Boys not... in the hood. Nice hair. I really like the haircut. Oh, thanks. I I just woke up. Little bedhead. What is that like? I mean, I haven't done that. You have a kid. I have When's the last I... time you fucking woke up at like one o'clock I, in the you afternoon? You can't. I think after lunch. You just can't. You can't wake you up can't. late. No, because your kid, my kid's going to school. I want to see him before he goes right. to school. The re- I always feel guilty because I, in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to stay in bed. And they let me. My wife right. lets me. But then I hear but him having fun. Like, right. And then, and then all of a sudden, yeah. I'm like, what oh. if he dies today? What if something <laughs> happens? Right. I'm like that. And I'm like, fuck, if he dies today, it's more and I was you're in bed. Gonna die. Huh? You're going to die before him. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you're being realistic, I thought yeah. we were giving, you know, our, you know, our fans no, response. No, but, I, but... I, yeah, I do. I do the same thing. Yeah. But, like, uh, you know, I make him, I set the timer on the coffee maker. Yeah, but your kid is 19. He's 16. Same shit. He's, oh. You'll see. It's a tough Wait age. till they're babies. Yeah, but your kid's not a baby. He's been seven I foot mean, tall till, since he was a, a shut nine. Up. Wait till your kid is 16. You still think of them as babies. I won't. Have you walked in on a masturbation situation? Yes, Yes, I have. definitely. Whoa. Oh, not me. My kid's four. He was just having fun. I just, I always <laughs> knock that point, on the door. If you I can't, always... if jizz doesn't come out, it's fun. That's yeah. true. If there's no pubes involved, it's like, right. hey, let's just have a good time. The dick yeah. just goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, once he gets pubes and stuff comes out, it's like, whoa, whoa, put that away. So I'm yeah. very good. I always knock. Yeah. I always, I don't. Nothing on the bathroom door when you're taking your. But you saw you know. a stroke or two. Well, I I've walked in and it's like what, and then you know I what? see a little. Bowl. He jizzed. Yeah. he's a chicken. No. Oh, I thought that was even blow. But the fucking. <laughs> that's that's you know, how my, I, when I jizzed. No, I said to both of me. them. Here's I'll just do a funny the... podcast without you. What is this NPR? <laughs> Shut up. Go ahead. Do your thing. No, I, I told them where I said, here's where the um, wash rags are. I'm sorry for saying shut up. I shouldn't have I said care. that. To you. I was trying to. I was joking. You talk as much as you want to. So I show them. <laughs> I showed them where the um, <laughs> wash rags are. Uh, Come rags. Showed Henry. Yeah. You throw them out but or you wash like, them? Put... There's rage. Well, they put it in the fucking drawer, like a drawer. Yeah. There's a cum It's in the it's draw? in the sock drawer. <laughs> what? All right. I what? know you're gonna use the socks, but here's like really good wash rags that are so, better. So jizz into a wash rag and you'll yeah. wash that. I think paper yeah. towels is the way to go. You just throw well, them now. away and it's bad for the environment. It's a waste. Oh well. No, it's not because they'll find those paper towels thousands of years later, and <laughs> and they can actually. Oh yeah, check they'll, the DNA. They'll get the DNA and be able to make humans again. Yeah, because those oh. paper towels are going to be around. They will be they'll under the ground. You'll yeah. find jizz and towels, yeah. and you'll take those jizz and make a whole new human race. Well, how much did you guys masturbate when oh, you were sixteen? Oh my a lot. god, three it times a day minimum. Yeah, really? Yeah, I used to pre-internet yeah. porn. Yeah. I used to fuck the Vaseline can. <laughs> yeah, literally stick my dick in it. That was fun. Yeah, and then I'd have what? to pinch. So I'd have to pinch you... the head of my dick and, like, toothpaste, mush Vaseline right, gross. on it. So <laughs> it was, you were constantly getting hard-ons. Yes, yeah. I'm hard yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. sometimes, wow. if like sometimes if you're ever watching TV, it there says, I gotta is. go, hey. Hi, Rachel. Speaking Rachel. of cum rags, Rachel has such style. Oh, Jesus, why yeah. would you say that about her? <laughs> Very stylish. Oh, I'm man. trying to, you go off over the top. Well, silly. you know, I'll tell you who has style, the ladies in the room. Yeah, they all have style. Except all the ladies in the place with style and grace. But it's always been like that with male comics. They're always 
slobby. Like, I remember Adam Say that Sandler to Jerry and Catch a Rising Star. Say that to Jerry Seinfeld. Okay, I'm He'll not disagree. talking about him. But I remember Adam Sandler starting out, going up at the Catch a Rising Star, yep. and Louis Ferrand is like, he's going to be a star. And I'm like, he looks like a fucking slob. Mm. It's like, yeah, mark my words, Goldie. <laughs> and of course, he's a big fucking star. Big star. Yeah, and you're on my podcast. And Louis told me I couldn't work there. Anyways, he did not. Uh, Louis Ferranda? Yeah, why? At Caroline? Yeah, why? No, I'm kidding. He didn't. Oh, it was right. for the joke. Um, God, you know, that was a funny joke, Robert. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Everyone, wasn't that funny? I mean, technically, if that was a joke, you do get the bomb Dana back. Uh, yeah. All right, listen. I, we didn't think it was a joke. That's why we didn't her shit on you for such a it, bad right. joke. It really wasn't a joke. I was just joking. Oh, that was, all right. Well, the, joke was, the joke was that I said it was a joke, but then she started screaming in my ear, so my, my nervous system shut down. Okay. When Judy started laughing. But you're wearing a nice shirt also, Thank we should you. point out. I it thought it was a, a Ted lovely. Baker. Yeah, you you look good today. Thank you, I tried. Yeah, you look I didn't good wear good. a jumpsuit from Dickies in a mechanic <laughs> shop, <laughs> yeah, but I tried. I he like told that. the audience. Jumpsuits are in. Yes. Yeah. Can we tell- yes. I was just going to say that Keith told the audience I dressed like a district attorney. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. And it was so accurate. I was like, God You damn really it. do. I really blazer. do. But not yeah. a, not an old, like a I brand new so. one. He's a like, brand- why does Rachel dress like a district attorney? I'm like, shit, he got me. Damn. She really does. She dresses like she's in the court system. Yeah. It's funny because he's such a terrible dresser, but he still, he says things that are Keith, Keith Robinson. Oh. Yeah, what other Keith do you know? I didn't hear the word Keith. Keith dresses like he's... Uh, a retired starship lieutenant. <laughs> yes, a lot of sweaters with stripes. Yeah, sweaters with little zippers that go uh-huh. fucking diagonal. Oh, that's oh, funny. He buys right. disgusting yeah. tops from Nigerian shops in Philly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Jesus. I'm not good at that. Right. He's got to put the easy. He has to, you know, dress so it's easy to put on and off. Man, great uh, product. Nah. I love Man, great. Uh, it's a, I'm a you big want a griller. Stroke. <laughs> Come on now, we got a Man, great oh, right yeah. here. I actually use this uh, product myself. Uh, it's tailgating seating and season, people. And uh, Mangrate is the perfect gift this season. If you're looking to buy something for an, a guy or a girl, you have to say that now. But let's be honest, it's mainly guys. <laughs> I girls. love grilling. You don't have I'm, a grill. I'm a. Ha- I do so at Where's my house in Provincetown. You have a house in Provincetown? Yeah, oh. I'm a What's... fucking lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Well, this would be you a are? great, a yeah. great gift for yourself, Mangrate. Okay, gentlemen and women, don't settle for socks or some crappy other gift this year. Demand the man grade. I'm going to buy you one, Judy. Okay, but what happened? Like, I'm going to tell you right now. This oh, is a read. Oh, 50% off. Judith, you're worth it. <laughs> Do it for oh, my God. Look at that grill. Look, you know you know the other one. You're always grilling. And you know oh, wow. you want to show off your grill skills. Mm. Right? The one and only Wait, you just 100% put cast iron man grade is the perfect gift for any meat lover this season. Listen, for the perfect steakhouse taste, you need the Mangrate. Mangrate ensures juicy, tender meat with no flare-ups and perfect sear marks every single time, Judy. Mangrate delivers steakhouse quality flavors right at your home. Order now and get 50% off. That's nuts. That's wow. the greatest you offer ever. You just put it on your grill? 50, yeah, that's you it. Put it right so you, top. That's it, you right it there, top. look. Hit the video. Good, because my fucking, I hate that shitty grill thing. 50% off that all Mangrate mm. premium brushes and brushes and Mangrates at Mangrate.com. 50% off. That, that, that's, that's crazy. That's a lot. It's a steal. You see, when it comes to the grill, not all grates are equal. They're not all created equal. Each Mangrate is eight pounds of raw cast iron, 100% American, God bless America, nobody's kneeling here, made <laughs> and designed to fit Ugh. on top of that. a virtual any grill service. It fits on any grill. Your grill, my grill, my grill's probably so bigger than So you put it grill. on top of that other grill. Yes. You have a big grill? And it's great. It's pretty big. Very. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I make, I, you know what I grill a lot in the summer? Yeah. Swordfish. Oh, so good. Swordfish. I make yes. real, I yes. really perfected good, good. it. Here's so the deal. Fucking juicy the W is good. silent. I'm going to actually get you this man grill. All you have to do is take it out of the box, set it on the existing grill, and cook away. Steaks, burgers, chicken. Fish. Yeah. Oh my God, you, I'm so excited. Whatever you, could you want. grill a swordfish in the time it takes to do this read. Whatever you're grilling, I assure you that the mangrate will make you a winner every single time. So ask for the holiday season. Just ask for it. Ask for one. Um, Robert, yes. can I have a mangrate it's for done. Hanukkah? Um, Hanukkah, Poppy, Hanukkah. Can I have a mangrate, Poppy? <laughs> <laughs> you can have two. Yeah. <laughs> can I see your mangrate? Yes. <laughs> That's, okay. 
I bought my what dad size one of these. man crate do you have? Uh, I well, they, you you buy them. They XXL. all come one size. Yeah, and uh, right there, it's a great. I'm telling you, it's, it is great because flare ups on a grill, and I grill a lot. Are a pain in the ass. I have flare ups all the time. <laughs> Not that type. Or buy, you can get it for somebody or buy it yourself to ensure you get uh, at least one great gift that won't disappoint. Go to mangrate.com right now. Get 50% that's, off, dude. That's more than half. Of mm. all all grades and premium brushes. That's it's everything not more on the site. Than half. I know. I'm kidding. It's exactly half. There yes. you go, guys. I'm going to get you a mangrate. That was exactly you half the mangrate? podcast. I, I want a man we, we got the joke. I have to do this. Okay? I know. Okay, I'm joking. Nice yeah. I love grilling. There, I but actually, you know, Robert always has these parties, yeah. and then I find out, like, oh, hey, Bing. we're having a party in he three hours. He never invites me either. Yeah. I, that's and true. And it's always acts All right, like we're going right. to. Bobby. All right, here we go. Same thing to me. Never stop, 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 I told stop, you about stop, it. I could have been stop. there. I'll get my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking burn you right now. With the grace. I'm gonna okay. burn you right now, Rach. Maybe take it back. I'll. Let, I won't bring up the text I do, message. I am scared. Let me bring up the text message oh from boy. the last time. <laughs> Two times you've rejected me. No, but two times. Wow. You said to me, I never get invited. I said, Rachel, anytime you come, I have a party. You're invited. Comp blanche. Fucking VIP. Anytime. You two did times. Say that, but I once, invited Bobby, you twice. And this and is you only because I love me. you and I'm in love with you. I'm going to reject you. <laughs> I love you. I invited you two times. I'll go to the. Let's let me, go to the text. I'll no, go to the text. I believe I have text. been invited, but I've also. And the ones I've missed. The Here's text. the thing. Let me just say this. I've missed. The ones, the ones that you haven't invited me to, only because we all hate ourselves, those are the ones that remember. remember. Here's just the, like. Mm -hmm. Here? So, yes, you have invited me. And, Bobby, you did say I had an open invitation, although it's hard if you don't know the time and date. I, but but <laughs> That's crazy. I get. I it's called fun. her the last two times. I said, Rachel, party. She said, I can't make it. And then one time you said you were coming, and I bought it. Now, you got to know this. I go out and buy a hamburger for you. I buy a hot dog for you. Oh, I buy a sausage for you. And I buy three. Make sure there's three that. steak tips for you. <laughs> so, when you're, was, so was, when you're invited, I add that. To, I have to add all this up because I can't have. I can't buy all this stuff and only 10 people show up. You'll eat it. Okay, I will say this. I will say this. It may be that, you know, in the olden days when you used to wear the black leather jacket and you were like bad boy Bobby. Yes. Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Yeah. And, you yes. know, you kind of came yeah. in town and you sort of rejected yeah, yes. everybody like the Fonz and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so yeah. this might be old feelings from this those is days. It might be. I, might I love be you, Rachel, and you're invited. You know yeah. I love invite you, Invite a always. And Judy, you yeah. are invited. If I give you the invite, you can come. But don't just show up. I feel like Judy well, you know was what? pretending. Go fuck yourself. Judy, you know, you. I told you too, you have the open invite. Thank I've you. given that to, and don't think that I give that out to anybody. I've, there's certain people that bitched at me for, Patrice had this problem, you know. Oh, yeah, diabetes. He used to, he called. <laughs> it's cured now. He, he, Jesus Christ. What? He, he, literally, I'm cured? looking on the bright side. His anniversary is two days ago. Oh, you just missed it. All right, two days ago. <laughs> yeah, so we're good. asshole. We're back around. <laughs> <laughs> remember when, uh, do you remember when uh, Nick- Can I finish this fucking thought? I know, but you paused and it was a- you... All right, you're right, go ahead. Remember when uh, Nick had a, a, a barbecue and a, then- A barbecue? <laughs> a barbecue. Bar I, thought, I thought he said barbecue. <laughs> uh, and Jewish then- uh, Jew, 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 Jew. Patrice Cologne. showed up uh, with $400 <laughs> of the Chinese food at a barbecue. <laughs> That's really? what he brought to the barbecue. That's, That's funny. Funny. Patrice. He brought like seven bags of Chinese food. And he's like, "Well, I brought food," and we're like, "You fucking idiot!" I mean, the first time we, the first time we ever came to New York, all of us, me, Burr, Bob Marley, Dane, Patrice, we all came, and we were looking for shit to do. So we went to the movie theater to watch a movie up in Times Square. Patrice went and bought, I don't know, maybe thirty dollars worth of Chinese food. Brought it a bag. He had to hug into the theater. <laughs> sat in the seat. Opened up this Chinese food. Everybody in the theater was like, "Do you smell Chinese food?" Yeah. The, oh my they, god, that's are they hilarious. selling Chinese food now? With the, everybody was miserable because it smelled so good. And he's sitting there eating it. And ten minutes into the movie, you see a snap. His chair just snaps <laughs> no into the guy behind him, and <laughs> he just went like this, and just started eating again. And wow. watched the, this guy just sat there with Patrice in his lap the whole time. Oh. <laughs> That guy loved Chinese food. <laughs> Who doesn't? It's really good for you, too. Um, mm. Listen, here's the deal. This He used to have the same problem. Colin got mad at Patrice. They got into a big fight over this. And then Patrice's mommy had to help, help fix it. Didn't she have to come over? She Well, because he, this is the deal. He never he invited Colin one time. Mm. Colin said no. So he said, all right, fuck him. He's not going to come. So he never right. invited him again. And Colin called him back the next. 
when he didn't get invited, the next time he goes, "What do you? Why didn't you invite me?" He goes, "Cause you're gonna say no." He goes, "He goes, would you have come?" He goes, "No, I'm not coming to your barbecue, but I still get the invite, fuckface, cause I'm your friend." Uh huh. So Whatever. that that goes with certain people. That's all Wait, we really I want to say if I have ever um... you rejected me. No, I just want to say. You know, say, one Robert. time I just saw a text and I was like, I don't think I was on. And that thing, you haven't. I'm just saying. And it hurt because I thought I want to be invited to Bad Boy Bobby's barbecues. He's a fucking bad boy. And I, I want okay, to get involved. Let's I'm say. saying this right now. Rachel, mm-hmm. you are invited every single time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, it happened today. You want a notebook? Let's see. You can uh, borrow my notebook and make a note and take it. And just all right, it I definitely got invited to. Oh God, we have to go through. Oh, this I is got invited to invitation. Max's second birthday. Yeah, that's it. Week. That's it. Max is nine. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> and then uh, I said thanks to. <laughs> What'd you say? What are you laughing at? You wrote. Uh, you sent me the invite. Yeah. I wrote. He's so cute. Thanks so much for the invite. Yep. For tonight, yeah, and then he goes, "Like you write, like the last invite." I said I was in a fucking show and had a matinee. See, so she got two invites, okay. rejected me both times. There comes mm. the time where you go, "Fuck you." Come oh my god, time. guess what? Guess what? what Robert Kelly wrote? What? This is why I love him. Why? Oh, what if this is too private? I'm so sorry about your mother. How sweet was that? Yeah, because I'm a good guy. I know. Yeah, okay. I sent you some stuff too. I like oh, Rachel. For that. Yes, Rachel was lovely. What she sent you? Some things. She sent me. Why stuff. are you glomming on to my moment? <laughs> yeah, there was a sadness no. to that, but I do. Want no, but Rachel so. was <laughs> very supportive. <laughs> what lovely. the fuck? How did it become about her? <laughs> it was about me stuff. and you. All oh, right. It was our thing. I just started thinking about what a lovely person I am. <laughs> 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 I couldn't stop myself. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. <laughs> You are though, Bobby. You are. You've, you've said some kind things. I'm a fucking great guy. I think guy. he's a great guy. He is yeah. a sweetie. Oh, to Bobby. I mean, he... Bobby married me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I was there. Mark was there. I was there. That's yeah, right. I remember you. <laughs> oh, what's that? Man, great. Oh, the Tonight geez. Show with Jimmy oh. Fallon. Why you Why were on is it? That up there? Oh, Horrible wow. show. Who okay. would do it? Two weeks, I'm on. <laughs> are you on in two yeah. weeks? Oh, wow. Hey. Two weeks. September 21st. All right. Robert what are you going to wear? Takes, takes, we're in this. Takes another swing. <laughs> Let's go takes, suit shopping I've, together. It'll be fun. I'm not getting a suit. You're out of your fucking mind. Wear a mind. suit. I'm not wearing a suit. I'm not a douche. It's Fallon. It's <laughs> doesn't Tonight matter. Show. I'm not wearing it's a fucking tonight suit. Show. You, you should wear a suit. Like no. You should wear a suit. Here's the fucking point. Just wear a jacket. Wear, wear a, a suit. suit. I don't fit in suits. <laughs> what are well, you I don't about? wear belts. I'm not enhancing my fat. I'm fucking <laughs> fluffing it away. Okay? And therefore, listen. Yeah, we got a weight loss challenge. You know what? You got to dress who you are. That's it. No. Every time I've dressed like somebody said, I, I bombed. I agree. I agree. I used to. When Carson I did, Daly bombed. Carson Daly too bombed. That show stinks. Problem, problem Jimmy is... Kimmel. Fuck Jimmy. Uh, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. The problem should be your act. I did. I did a bunch. Dress that up a little. <laughs> I did a bunch of Arsenios. Yeah. Wow. And, <laughs> um, and I, did not, I did okay. I did okay, but I hated what I wore. Someone has to tell Gabby who, who, who that is. <laughs> Hello, folks. I went like this. You, you don't know, know Arsenio Hall? No. He won She's the appraisal. Oh my god, I want to fucking kill myself. Gabby's fourteen years old. How She's old wearing you? a jumpsuit. How old are you? Twenty-three. Oh uh, <laughs> wow. Go grease lightning. So you literally, she literally wasn't born when Arsenio was on TV. I, I guess get, not. Yeah, my son's twenty-one. Your son is very hot, by the way, Judith. Oh, thank really? you. Really? If yes. I said that, my, if I said that, my whole career would be taken away. He's That's twenty-one. He's legal. If I said that about somebody's Every, daughter, he, my whole he, my I whole career would be something. taken away. True. All right, so we're talking about this. When Henry Henry has always been exceptionally <laughs> handsome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he was He's in high right. school. He's is this right. your sperm or is this a has this work? <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, like, is it? Is it? You from haven't your, earned it. Is you it have not your earned the right to say shit like that. Come me. on, you shut up. You know what I'm talking about? No, yes, Stop no. It. I had. I had, just answer the question. Is it no, your sperm? No, it's uh, <laughs> Sharon. My ex had Henry. I had Ben. Okay. And he's the not attractive. They're both no, Ben oh, is so right. very okay. handsome okay. and aroused. I'm just First right. of all, <laughs> wait a minute. But when Henry aroused, <laughs> Rachel fell off her chair. <laughs> when Henry was in high school, I can't tell you how many mothers came up to me and was like, "You know what? Yeah, I'd fuck him if I yeah." Did really? he get the gay? What? Did he get the gay? <laughs> you can't get it. Oh, it's not a thing that she passes uh-huh. down. Uh-huh. She's never yeah, like frozen in. She has it. That's like an asshole thing oh, to say. Hey, so no, he's I've not, seen not somebody, fro- uh, little gays, frozen in ice cube trays. 
and have given people the gay. Uh huh. So don't let's not get Henry carried away. Henry just Stein- actually last night we were talking on the phone. <laughs> I'm glad this is and uh, he said to me, <laughs> "Look at my old ice cube tray <laughs> joke didn't work I'll that well." Never finish it. Sorry, go, no, go ahead. No, it's dude. fine. It's fine. He said to me last night. He said like I was at a bar once. I don't know. We were talking about sexual harassment and shit. Yeah. And mm. so he's like, you know what? Uh, I was at a bar and some guy. I was came out of the bathroom and grabbed my ass and said. I'm gay and you're the hottest straight guy here. Modi? And <laughs> and he was like, don't fucking grab my ass. Yeah. I mean, but he's not, you know, like, Were he's you? so not homophobic. Did you hear the, like, well, you know the Comedy Cellar podcast about when they did the Bo? Uh, guy Branham? Guy, guy Branham. Branham. I got invited stupid, to that, but I didn't go. Stupid Keith, Couldn't... that old fucking oh, cocksucker. What, what ignorance. What he was ignorance just didn't... outing every <laughs> gay comic yeah. that's not out. <laughs> yes, yes. And they were like, oh, oh, oh. They had to edit it. They had to edit it. But they also missed one. They beeped it a bunch, but then they said the person's name. Later, Louis I Gomez. Say it off air. I don't Louis J. Gomez. Sorry, the J is for gay. Uh, I know all the gays, don't I? I don't know, but this old man was going, uh, "This right, one's gay," this, and right. and they were like, "Guys, stop it!" He was like, "What about this one gay? That one gay? <laughs> he be gay?" So dumb. He, he is so dumb. dumb. But, uh, Everybody, right. As- watch his special winding down on the porch. And he's. <laughs> I, I believed you. I was like, oh, really? I haven't heard of that yet. Watch his special from the left. <laughs> but they bleep That's a bunch so out, <laughs> and then they say a bunch of first names still that are unbeat. I have to say out. something oh. as a gay. Okay, yes. yes. As an out gay for and a, a long time. And a right. man. <laughs> that as a man, half man. A man great. Uh, it upsets me the so. most that these people are in the fucking closet. Right? That's what pisses me off the most. Come on, Why Green do- Bomb! Come on, what? Dream, Dream bomb. Green bomb. Harrison not Green gay. bomb. Not gay. Come on. Oh, buddy. so Not gay. gay. He's not gay. Ah, from the <laughs> horse's mouth. I've, I've tested it. I, I'll tell I you brought right him on the road. I brought him on the road for a week. I took what? It, tested. And I, I, got a, I, got a, I got a one room with king bed. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. You did not. Just I for the walked test? Ar- I walked around naked. Let me tell you something. With it out the <laughs> whole week long. Gay he guys. He didn't no gay guy is it? Why do you think? You're attractive. Yeah, you turned him straight. Oh, that was hurtful. You straightened him out. You made him straight. You scared him straight. Yeah. That was hurtful. This is a bomb bandana, but now it's a a fucking tear bandana. Like your body walking around. It is just, it is a You made me a lesbian. Okay, we both, (laughs) listen, we both have Muppet bodies, so let's fucking relax. I work so hard on my body. Uh, What do you do to it? You go to build a bear. <laughs> Rachel Listen. would like to say something, Robert. Rachel was Rachel good in that as the spin prettiest class. person in the room. Go ahead. You Rachel, you are great in that space. Yeah, class. see, I'm good. I really work out. And Rachel's <laughs> shut the fuck up. You just told me <laughs> that I am. But not you're wor- saying to me, you're saying to us, oh, I walked around naked in front of uh, Harrison, right. so I know it. It's like. Well, it is first, not. No, you're first not of all, the listen, first. They're listen, not. No. S- screamer. Yeah. Don't ever do this again, because what happens under your arms freaks me out. Okay, <laughs> I just got hypnotized. <laughs> Listen, her thighs are rock hard. Okay, listen. look at your fucking body. <laughs> I, look at your fucking body and you're criticizing listen to me. mine. Holy no. shit. I cover my arms. Listen. <laughs> listen. Judy. What? I don't I, I didn't like re- my arms. No, you get yeah. great arms. You actually right. do have Good nice try. arms. I feel like people are getting hurt here. <laughs> let's go back to the fact that you yeah. should be wearing a suit on the tonight show. Listen, yes. for, all right, let's go back to <laughs> no, that. But you first of all, wear what you're comfortable shut with. up. Wife I, beer. But it should be new. And you shut up and Rachel, you are sweet. <laughs> Listen. We still didn't hear what Rachel had to say. I'm going to get to it. I want to say something. Please. On my fucking show with my mic. I have the better microphone. Who's screaming? Stop Listen, jiggling. Judy. I'm, we're talking about the gays. Let's go back Listen, to the gays and that are not I want to say this. I'm not fucking. You are talking like I really took Harrison on the road with me. And wh- I, that was a joke. I never took him anywhere. It was a fucking joke. Yeah, I never thought he worked with you. Don't yeah, it's a weird Listen, pairing. Hey, Here's I just don't the want deal. that out there. Can I just say, as the voice of gay, <laughs> as the voice of gay, the fact that people hide. That's exactly what the sound, the voice of gay, yeah. I thought would sound like, by the way. Uh, uh, as know. the voice of gay. <laughs> Go ahead. As the voice of gay, I just have to say yes. that. No, it's just really upsetting to me. I came out. So many years ago, 20-something years ago. When it was hard to come out. When it was bad. Mm-hmm. I had to. I had kids. I was never going to be go on stage and be like. Did you really have to come out? Were you before Ellen? 
Yes. Wow. Before it's Ellen. pretty amazing, though, and to be on the road as, a, 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 you know, I can't even imagine. The... It was it was more, it was harder as a Jew, I have to say. Mm. I got more. You, you told know. people you were a Jew, too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I de- I de- <laughs> and people are like, oh, did it have an effect on your career? But it definitely had an effect. You think this so? lesbian, yes. Oh, and, yeah. And people telling, yeah, because I was like on sitcoms. Because you're, they t- and, yeah, yeah, and you're then, that person. That's tough. And Double then whammy. I was like, I can't. What kind of lesson is it to my children if I'm like I don't talk about you on stage or you can know? I, can I ask you a question though? Now you say that it, you have because if you say I'm a lesbian out in the open, they start casting you as a lesbian. But but it's also all let the- me ask the question before you fucking talk. <laughs> Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you want? No, I don't. What, want what if to they started? Cast- cast- I wanted to write. I'm a comic. I'm not a comic who does it to get something else. But here the question: I wanted to write about my family. That's but, th- what- but what I'm saying is, if they cast you as Ellen had to date men and play these, had to play a like a woman who liked men because she wasn't out. But if she said, "Hey, I'm a lesbian," then she could do a show about being no, a she lesbian. Couldn't. No, no one think- wanted. Lesbians on television. That's not true. It's, it got canceled. Can I add something as as Judy's emotional representative? Thank what you. I think, Judith. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and I love as that she her, calls me Judith. What I think as her Judith. e-rep. Yeah, because she dresses like but a But it's DA. not just that. I think, and I have no qualifications to discuss this, <clears> part, <throat> but what I think you might be saying, and tell yes. me if I'm wrong or right, is that <laughs> is that um, when you talk about it, they make it your whole identity, especially at that time, and that's right. it. They can't see past that or around that. And she's saying she wanted to have her own diverse comedic talk about all the things she wanted to talk that makes about. Sense, Rachel. She didn't want to just be screaming. Thank you, and Rachel. Right. And I, yeah. Thank it's you, Rachel, for I saying it in to, a very a sexier voice. But I didn't want to. Ca- <laughs> makes me... I didn't want to be cast as a. Le- I just wanted to be cast as any other actor's yeah. cast. Right. But you know, I have worked. I've seen. I had a lot of friends die in the AIDS crisis. Mm-hmm. I've seen. The community come together. I I, I was wish, in my twenties. I 20s. wish me and my friends were during that crisis. But no, but you you know look at you. <laughs> Some you're twenty three. I was your age, Keith. and all and my friends were dying, and it was like a normal thing. Like right. oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Yeah. It was a horrible time. But also the fact that we fought and fought and fought. Right. And now these people are like, I'm not gonna tell people I'm gay. The the fact that you think there's something wrong with <laughs> That's it. Good point. Is, but nobody cares anymore either, though. But if you said obviously then why they hide care. It? Yeah. Then why yeah, but hide I'm it? I'm saying this. I don't think anybody cares. I That's think being not true. Who cares? They they care. No, obviously. But, but these, I'm talking about the reason people evolved. were scared Bobby's about saying it. the general public. The gen- nobody saying. cares about we've seen gay, gays everywhere. Nobody cares about it, gay but anymore. You know what? God you don't cares. live as a gay, <laughs> so you don't know that. That's you don't, not you true. don't know that. That's true. Mm. Uh, no, but it's, Joe, it is a. It is Bobby a, and I fucked. That's why I had him marry us, so I could be part of my. Yeah, it was a double thing. Oh, clever! It was a double entendre. I'd have no. sex with you. I would fuck you. Yeah, I seen you cock. I'd I, like to blow Bailey J. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll watch mm. you blow her. Great! <laughs> I'll, blow I'll come her, on your back. Uh, well, you have to come on my back. <laughs> you have to like disrespect me. You can come on my front or ask me where I want it. I want to have know some the respect gays for me. Joe, have you some respect. you know who they are? <laughs> yeah, you I'll like write t- it to it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or jizz on the geek glasses. Um, Rachel, what were you And talking? I don't out people, by the way. I don't, but I, I really. But you ask us to. <laughs> no, I just don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I really don't understand it. Why is the Jew hard? Really? That's mm. the person who was named even after the beep. People could still it, figure it, it out. Did they name another one? He named another one. They named, they beeped. Yeah. But then, like, two minutes later, they say the first name two more times, non-beeped. Keith? What about, um... Yes, I think Keith. Oh, jeez. And a couple other people. Rachel, what were you talking about? Um, I was going to make a point that's no longer valid. I was no, just going to... that joke you had valid. 35 minutes ago that no, we couldn't get out? I was just going to say that because I did <laughs> believe about? the scenario, the, the preposterous scenario that you had. <laughs> that I went with... Yeah. yeah, that you had. Um, wait, which comic was it again? Harrison. Yeah, Green Harrison. Green that Green I took with oh, and that you were in, and you shared a room and naked. And <laughs> you just walked around wildly naked all the time. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't question any stuff. And I'm like, of course, Bobby yeah. did this. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I was gonna say that, and I was gonna. And my I wife was, just approved. <laughs> anyway. I told her it was a scientific experiment that I had to had to be done for the comedy community. And I told my son I'll be back in a week. <laughs> the thing is, I believe everything oh, yeah. if it's said in a reasonable voice. Yeah. I do. Did he come out? But yeah. I was going to say that you can't test whether somebody's gay by just inserting yourself inside I mean, of them and that deciding whether they enjoy it. But I realize that you didn't. None, the premise wasn't based on any truth. Not at all. But I would like to say that I got, and this has nothing to do with anything anyone's saying, but um, I lo- got locked out of my place today, or locked into my apartment today, and um, all these firemen came over to get me out. And oh, that's boy. why I'm late. 
<laughs> yeah, you, and it was embarrassing. Speaking, yeah, I get, know. So hot. A bunch of firemen coming <laughs> How in. How do you get locked into your apartment? Okay, the first, doorknob breaks. The doorknob wasn't working, and I was like, and so, and I, I kept messing with it. And it wouldn't open. It wouldn't open. And so I called my boyfriend, and he's a captain. I love him. I love captain, him. I love him. So he was like, I'll Pete. just tell the guys to come over and let you in. So, like, five firemen came in and broke your down boyfriend my is door. Your boyfriend is a fire guy? Yeah. he's High a, up. Yeah. Really? Yeah, high yeah. up. So he sent five what firemen over to come, like, get, and first of all, it did feel like a moron, though, even though I was locked in because I couldn't do the door. It's just such a stupid Very scenario. Damsily. You're locked in. It's so dumb. And did, did they know who your boyfriend was? All yeah, yeah, because he told them. He just told them, and they were there in, like, three minutes. Wow. He's like, I'll call him, you know? It was a very hot situation. Yeah, Might be bad wow. also because that happened. Wait, were they all good looking? <laughs> yeah, they were, yeah, like, really, it's really good looking. Guys, bad. just I, FYI, I'm sorry. Every once in a while, you're going to hear a soft voice come on like a little bit, <laughs> and he's going to have a oh, joke. I forgot you were here. It, Go ahead. It's he's just so mushy. Yeah, what did you end. say, Mike? <laughs> that five people died because of her accident, but that's fine. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Uh, you should project bad. that. That's yeah, he, no, that's his thing. <laughs> yeah. That he does. He says that's a lot something. of funny stuff, <laughs> but, but he, he does, it just nobody hears it ever. Yeah, you're the joke he, whisperer. He's been, <laughs> doing, he's been doing comedy for 30 years. I know, Mike. We go back. <laughs> are, you, are you working together in San Antonio? Yeah, yeah but he's not. He's, he's MC. He's so cute, oh, isn't that, he? That poor He's stage. so handsome. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Go to two brothers. Sweet face. Who are you looking at? I don't know. That sweet face. <laughs> <laughs> he has happy eyes. Look at him. The one, he handsome. The one thing you have to say about him. Happy eyes. One thing you got to say about him. Good at taking a compliment. Yes, you feature with me in San Antonio. Judy, he looks like he's allergic to seafood and he just had a fucking a ceviche. Ceviche? Harrison would go for him. Definitely. I say I say. If he walked around in front of Harrison, I'm telling you right now. You're a bear. Guys, I got to do another read real quick. No. Mexican bear. Does Mo- is Modi will you, out? Will you help me through this bear? Ish. I mean, through this read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? Uh, all right, what? listen. I got to do this read. Do I need to turn your mics off? Sorry. <laughs> God, you Don't guys. Don't apologize <clears throat> to him. Rachel is the Sorry. only one that Mark. behaves herself. <laughs> and Joe. Thank you, Bob. And Mike. I mean, Where I are have... you going? Okay. Um, I remember when guy? you were skinny. That was huge. And He's young. I remember <laughs> when you were skinny and you had short hair. Yeah. When you did the movie thing. Oh my god, I love that. Job. I love that. I was love the watching best it. Job. It was like, it, it's, it's so funny. Ten years I did that. Baby, job. I used to watch you on HBO all the time, and I was attracted to you. Really? Yeah, because I have, had a lot of guys attracted. You to have me. you have uh, uh, Barbara Streisand. Lips. Oh yeah, Babs. Yeah. yeah you got yeah, bad those lips. Lips are very beautiful. That's, you got nice lips. Do you think lips. I'm fat now? No, I'm I don't. I think so you, I think you look great. Thanks. But you call me fat, I have to call you fat. That's well, the you fat. are fat. But you're fat, too. <laughs> I'm not that fat. But you're not as fat as me, but you're up there. <laughs> I am? This is a great no, you're not. Night, uh, you're up not. There? No, no, you're you not. look beautiful. She I would love never, you very great She lips. would never be honest with you. I'm telling That's you true. right now, you're, you're chubby. I am? No, no That's you're crazy. not. I'm saying that because you called me fat. No. I would never even say that. You're, you All look right, great. You're skinny. Thank you. You look well, great. Come on now. You look awesome. What are we doing? You're emaciated. You're the best. Have you eaten I've today? Ever, you're the best I've ever seen you look. You're so attractive right now. I wish I I wish you were into dudes. Because right. I would I would do my hardest to court you. Mm. Court. Shut up. Go. Yeah, court. Oh, nice. <laughs> I do I do believe Food that. court. Yeah. Food court you. Food I used court. to love you on HBO. I don't know if Thank you guys you. remember this. What was the uh, show? It was, was at uh, the multiplex with Judy Gold. At the multiplex, she would get people coming out of the movies, but she was so funny because oh, she would yeah. just uh, sometimes attack yeah. people. Like I they come that. up and like I wrote all the questions before. It was so good. Such a I don't know why ten years they baby. don't do that again with somebody else because it would be a great show for movies with someone else. Uh oh, <laughs> like one of your sons. This is one of our more hurtful episodes, <laughs> and very subtly. Wow, wow. Everyone's uh, been subtly hurtful. <laughs> subtly. That's great. I uh. That's great. Uh, everybody. <laughs> do you think I need to get like a no? Face you lift? don't, no. Hey, baby. Listen, to they what all, you're doing. All I was, the comics have facelifts. I'm so this, sorry. I heard that everyone's doing Botox. Young women, yeah. like yeah. women it's in their thirties, are I Botox. Done anything. I know, it's and the crazy. old ones are the ones who need it. <laughs> Deepdiscount.com is a great site <laughs> to get is that it to get hard to find gifts <laughs> at a really great price. I'm trying to give my fans stuff that they can buy. For Christmas presents, our oh. fans, our I'd fans. I'd like to be considered part of you the show. You are, Joe. Yes. You are one of the regs. Rachel, you're part two. Thanks. What about? Can I be you're, part three. You're part three. All right. And you're four and five. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, put your phone down. Help me with this, Judy. I was just looking at your f- nasty text. Go ahead. What, my text? Yeah. What did it say? It said, "You're not in love with me anymore." 
<laughs> but I think it's an old one. Okay, <laughs> deepdiscount.com uh, has uh, the site to get hard to find gifts at a really great price too. Uh, don't fast forward on this either. Listen What's a hard to find gift? A hard to find gift, a movie that you love that you can't find. Scroll down. What Slaughter about- High. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good. great, good time. Mm-hmm. Whiskey Glory. You don't, you'd never see that movie. No. You'd never see it. But not who, Whiskey Glory. Gl- I'll tell you right now. Galore. Da- da- <laughs> Glory. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I say? It's not even close. Whiskey Glory. <laughs> Listen, that's the other movie. It's harder to find. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Doc Martin's Whiskey. a real guy. I'll tell you this. Doc Martin, that show uh, is a BBC show, and it was a great show. It was. Yeah, they I love it. You're Martin's. never going to find the movie Justice League anywhere but here. <laughs> No, you can I like it. Schumann's uh, string quartet, Opus 41. It's the mm. Here's the deal. Everything Jew. is on sale right now, now at even Come lower on. prices. So you can get a cool gift and save money, too. Tens of thousands of items, classic TV shows, complete series, new TV shows, too. So uh, many movie choices on this thing. There's tons of music. Everything's on it. Deepdiscount.com. Last minute gift sale. Order now and get great gifts, great prices right here at your fingertips. Go to deepdiscount.com. Just click on the logo on my homepage, riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Make your holiday shopping experience easier and save money too. You'll find something for everyone on your list. Oh, and of course, listen. Be good to yourself. Grab a few things for your uh, of your. Oh, favorites. my journey through French cinema. It's, gr- <laughs> it's a great movie. I tell you, The Preacher was a good movie too. I do like Driftwood. I would never get that movie. Preacher's a I'll TV buy series. it. Yeah, it's a TV series. Yeah. But do people watch DVDs anymore? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely. Just yeah. check it out. Deep but you know, here's I the love problem. I love DVDs, but you can also get good music on it. But and- you can't. You have to get like if you have a Mac now. Yeah. You have to get a, you know, an extension thing. Well, sell some product here. Listen, go to deep discount. Oh, right. Sorry. You'll find <laughs> hey, your Pearl Jam. Look at that. They do. They have a bunch of and uh Oh, Hangover Square. I want to see that. Mm. <laughs> I would see that movie though. You Dude. would? Yes, I would buy that movie and watch it cuz I like watching shit you'd never watch. Yeah. I bought so many movies off of here that Speaking uh, of which, this is live streaming right now. Live streaming yeah. right now. You'll find new releases, too, like Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Gotta love the Kingsman movie. You gotta love it. And this time, UK spies join forces with the U.S. soldiers, dude, to defeat a common enemy. Mm-hmm. Get your copy now for a great price. DVD, Blu-ray, right now. There's even a limited edition LP available. Just click the deepdiscount.com logo found on my homepage, ridecast.com slash Robert Kelly. Support my sponsors and be good to yourself. Buy your favorites and watch them when you want, Judy. And check it yes, out now. Yes. Thank you, Deep Discount. <laughs> Thanks, right. Deep Discount. Listen, Have you guys seen The Darkest Hour? Love you, babe. Uh, Gary Love Oldman. It is. Uh, look at that. Star <laughs> Wars is up there, too. U2 is up there. You can get a bunch of stuff. Judy, go there. Use my code. You what get, is it? What's your code? You just go to Robert Kelly. You go right now. Go to Robert Kelly. Uh, Riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Okay? Uh-huh. That's it. <laughs> and then I masturbate. No, you don't masturbate. <laughs> yeah. Stop saying masturbate. Whiskey oh, Glory masturbate, 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 masturbate. Don't say masturbate. Stop saying it in the ad. Masturbate. In the ad. Why am I turning into a fucking industry? <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right. Anyways, yeah, there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. And 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 and, and uh, I, want, I was talking to Judy the other day, and you were actually getting mad at all this stuff at this point. Which I found interesting. I thought you would go another way, but we were talking about it. You were actually, this, I would say, Here's the, thing. the Louis thing you were mm, talking about. I was talking about the Louis thing, um, which I have, me- it wasn't good what he did. Not good. No. Um, should everything he's ever done be taken off of? No. <laughs> here, Sorry. here. I you thought know, you were like, like yes. Why? Here's the problem yeah. is that our president. Is a fucking predator, fucking asshole, rapist, mm-hmm. and he's still president of the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, Louis apologized, mm-hmm. admitted it. The thing I fu- the thing that was uh, interesting that you yeah. said though is that you 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 were like he put so many women to That's work. That's what I said, and in power. And I was like, oh, like he did a yeah. shitty thing and it was shitty and yeah. it was wrong. Yeah. And yes, he should probably take a break and take a little like, OK, I got to fucking get my shit together. Huh. But his the head of his production company, woman. Yeah. Blair. Um, Amazing woman. Pam. Amazing. Um, I mean, his assistant. It, he was one of the guys that was I always felt like he gave women jobs. Oh, yeah. In this business. Right. It's hard to even. He begin. gave you a job. 
What's that? She opened quite job? a bit. Oh, you opened yes. for him. Yeah. Did he never did anything? No. You, oh, that I mean, pause was weird. Me. Oh. No, I mean, it, no, he abs- he def- definitely did not it's do It's just, I feel like he's the me. poster boy. Yeah. And there's so many more, there's other horrible, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to get shit, but, you know, we got to start putting things into perspective. It's horrible. It should stop. This shit should stop. Yeah. Like, um, Al Franken. He is an advocate for women. He is. I'm not laughing. I'm laughing at him sexually assaulting oh, you. Mark, while stop it. She's fucking trying it's, to say. No, but it's, Mark it's is true. fondling it's, Judith. It's, I don't so, allow it. shoulder. I have been in this business longer than all of you, and I have seen a lot of penises that I didn't want to see. Is I've, that right? I, yeah. But that's I mean, every I've, penis I've for dealt you. with a lot of this shit. And I've seen up. dicks I don't want to see. Joe, every time we FaceTime, has his dick out. I've is that sexually true? assaulted right. Robert yes. many times. Yes. yes. Do you really have your dick <laughs> Literally. out? Literally. I don't have it out. I'll just, I'll have it out because that's how I'm having a conversation. And I'll <laughs> tilt the phone down a little bit oh lazily, God. and then my dick appears, and it's funny. He'll That's send funny. me a photo, a but his dick's in it. Gross. But it's in a and it's in a puzzle way. Like you'll be, it's just a regular photo, and all of a sudden you look closer, and his fucking cock is in a mirror, in a cup that reflects into the thing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I mean, well, first of all, what uh, sexual all, harassment is is uh, evident and evident. It's a horrible thing. But it's funny to have a Skype f- conversation, and then you stand up at the end of it, and you've been naked the whole time. That's funny. <laughs> of course. That's, 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 if it's with a man who you think is funny. That's gold. That, well, look, I, I wouldn't like... do that to a woman. I wouldn't do that to one of you. Rachel, I don't show you my penis, but Bobby, <laughs> seeing my penis is hilarious. Have you ever actually? <laughs> have you ever? I don't like it, and I'm offended by it. All right, I'll hope. stop. You've sent me pictures of your poo. That's more offensive than you a have? Man. I was sick. Tons I needed his p- advice. Oh, my dick is sick. I have herpes and HPV. Why did Joe List advice? Because it was white. That's our joke about my dick. I say it was hey, albino. Oh, my God. You took a pit, pit, wow. picture of your shit? Advice is All such a funny word. Right, like, how, how is Joe saying? How is Joe going to guide right, you? One was it for advice. <laughs> one, I shit a perfect... Capital Q. All right. That I have like, to say something. The odds of that are nuts. There are some uh, shits that I've wanted to document. Yes. Yes. You can send me your shit anytime. Yeah, I mean, I've had like Ugh. over a foot long with. Whoa. And that's just, why I showed him my dick. And it looks like my intestine. It comes out. Like, oh, God. And, it's, and I'm so proud of that. Why did, how, could you, how could you avoid in this, with having a fucking 12 megapixel in your pocket, in your hand, why you shit? And you take a 12 foot coiled right. poop and you not take a photo, you're a better man than me or a better woman than <laughs> me. Right. I don't person. have it in me. Person. I don't care if, if fucking Jesus was in the room with me. I'd be like, JC, one second. And I'd be like, dude, check that out. Thank you. Bobby, right, thank do you him. really not like seeing my dick as a joke? I like it. Thank you, Mark. Well, you Bobby? show him too. I think I it's a funny. I think it's funny. It's pretty funny. <laughs> here's what I don't. Here's what I, I don't mean, like. It would be bad if you were skyping your therapist. Here's what I don't. Yeah. Like. Mm. Here's what I don't like is when you put it in a dick puzzle. I don't like the dick puzzles. It's but that's like a even puzzle. funnier. I would rather because then you show other people, then you don't realize, and then someone else has to go. That's his dick's out. What's the? Here's the thing, <laughs> and you never let Rachel finish her her thought. Oh, Rachel. But I also. Else. I think oh, it was you didn't. I think it was you. I think it was you. Your mixed feelings. You have mixed feelings about Louie. I mean, no, personally, obviously, he didn't do any of those things to me, you right. know, so that was my personal experience with Louie. I think a lot of women are just scared to say what they really think because of the backlash from other women. You know <sighs> what? I have to say that Harvey Weinstein deserves to be in jail. Sure. I mean, he's a fucking asshole. Yes. Um, but he's out having brunch. Right. Kevin Spacey. Yeah. I knew. I mean, I knew about Bill about Cosby. Kevin? Oh yeah, everyone knew he was a fucking predator, boys. Oh, I you didn't know. know that. Wow. Um, I just thought he was gay. I had, same. I know, I have a couple friends of mine that had things with him, and I was like, oh, all right, that's not. It's, it's right. It was just, you know, all right. He just likes dudes, or whatever. It's like John Travolta has all these massage parlor things. It's, is, it's not creepy. I mean, it's just him getting a massage, and he's trying to see if the guy's into. But look, if, if, like, I love that Charlie Rose. Okay, is oh. being replaced by. Christian Amanpour. No? No. Now who's that? 
You don't know Christiane Amanpour? Yeah, she's a she is like a she's a fabulous British journalist, journalist. British journalist. Yeah. Oh my God, she's fucking. She's unbelievable. It actually, she'd be. She. It's pretty cool that she's doing that. He now. was never a good interview. I always hated. I thought interviewing. he was kind of a drip. Yeah. But also, big drip. and I think he Sorry. pretended yeah. to yeah. care. He pretended to care. There. So he had a. He had just a she's general caring amazing. voice. She's fucking amazing. She is amazing. She's so smart. She is fascinating. Yeah. She's really interesting. Yeah. I always felt. But for who, him, why like, does he like? All right, sorry, but he's walking around with uh, his dick hanging. Like, uh, what the I, fuck I, is that? I, what What's with you, say- you guys and your? Why do you people want to see your dick? First of all, talk to him, not me. I've never done it. Well, That's I don't think I don't you want to see my dick. I think it's a funny joke. That's why I've been doing a different I thing get, than what I, they're doing. Joe, Joe, I get that. I'm just saying, like, why do people like you take out your dick and you start masturbating in front of someone who obviously doesn't want to be there? What? How? I'll like, tell you what it is. If you really want to, it's know. a power thing. What? I think it's because dicks are so weird and so gross, and women never want to see them. That if you pull it out and they have to accept it, Stop. it feels good. That's ridiculous. Okay, I that's think so that's Rachel, I Rachel, think that's Rachel, no, Rachel, Rachel. You, as soon as he said that, you were like, "What?" It was just so confusing. <laughs> what is that, <laughs> Rachel? I have a theory. Rachel, I'm not one of the. I'm putting my mind in their mind. Rachel, as, a, as never... one of the only, as one of the only three people in this room that like penis or like had penis is okay with penis. Is that true? Do girls hate <laughs> dick? Like it's cod. You've no, had it. I don't. Like it. I don't. I don't hate dick. No, but I don't. Um, I'm not like wanting to watch a guy masturbate. Like a comic recently told me that like um, that if a girl doesn't want to hook up and they're hooking up, not like something inappropriate, but that he, you know, they 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 make out, but she doesn't want to go further. That he yeah. likes to lay there and, and jerk off, hoping that she gets jealous. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. We want you to like it. <laughs> but can my, I, my can point I be is, yeah, is yeah. not that. Yeah. My point is that. That he thinks that the girl's gonna like suddenly get jealous of his hand on his <laughs> dumb well, that's dick. that's crazy. And and I and, <laughs> and and this isn't a comic doing something out of line or at work. Like they're hooking up, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. you start, you know. But I just think that's such a ludicrous idea. Mm-hmm. I don't think you know, dick. I'm not like I, I don't get upset when I see a dick. I enjoy <laughs> this. I don't want to finish just that sentence, it, please. but you, you know can, what I mean. You need to Skype. I have no is, interest whatsoever. But I we don't. Know. But I don't like have that. I think some girls may get turned on by the person they're involved with, mm-hmm. of, you know, doing that. But I don't personally want to sit there and watch my boyfriend. We literally have. Off. We have three different. I don't generations. dislike his dick. I enjoy. <laughs> well, yeah. We, right. There's nothing hot we have about three, jerking off. We have three different generations, though, of, of di- like uh, women comedians. You, you, and now your generation. Yes. Is 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 it not? I mean, you can't fuck around at all. Are you guys still being inappropriate with each other as comics? What or, do you mean? Like, all right, you sit at the table, Rachel. Yeah. I mean, we're inappropriate with everybody. Doesn't matter. There's no gender at the table. There's no gender when we're all hanging out. We kind of yeah, smash each other. Yeah, everybody trashes each other, and all kinds but of unspeakable is that things are said. Unspeakable shit. Yes. Yeah. And some of the women say. The most unspeakable oh, please. shit. Absolutely. Yeah, they all but go at it. I'll say funny. It's all in the name of funny. Sure. But do you does well, your generation why, yeah. can you do that anymore? Is that I think people still fuck with each other, but it's definitely more careful. People are a little more <sighs> That's so annoying. That's yeah, that shit. part does That's that bothers shit. me. That level yeah. that level with words, when it gets to the word stuff where you can't ironically say something to somebody you love without it taken out of context. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with that because that's how people Shut dealt with pain also up. throughout time. Yes. The un- horrible things happen to people and you make jokes about it and you say all kinds of shit. Mm. Like, you know, like when I, I remember like when my you know people in my family that's how they dealt with like or you know my pe- people will dealt with the co- holocaust that way people horrible unspeakable it's things a happen mechanism. And it's a coping yeah. mechanism mechanism and it's like crazy shit was said to all of us our whole lives so if we say it to each other and we don't give a shit and it's this big circle where everybody fucks with each other and uses the ridiculous things yeah. that were said but i also out. like that al franken picture how many times i'm how many times Oh, that's crazy. Th- Come on. Someone, like, fake touched my tit. Like, who cares? Yes, he was mugging for the camera. Right. And, sh- and, but that, and but you, you look don't at all the that... other video of of her. She's a right wing. I don't. I fucking do not believe her. Sing I think, it, sister. I think you're right. But I But I, I got into a, a screaming match with my therapist today. Alan? Really? Screaming match. Is it a female therapist? No. Oh. Because I just. It, the, you, it, he was saying that it's. It's the way the, the 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 tide of where we're at right now, and Louis or these people are getting caught in this tide, and that's just the way it has to be. And I don't think so. I think people can say, you know, hey, that's not right. No, I this think is- that you can't have working conditions where women and there's a lot of. I think the culture has to change. Like a it, lot of women yes. have 
not have not you know uh, have left their jobs because they're so fucking uncomfortable. That whole that absolutely, idea but has that's to not change. absolutely. But you can't just fucking take every single encounter and lump it under fucking Harvey Weinstein. That's correct. Outcomes. Right. The, the punishment can't be one punishment but Matt Lauer, for all this shit. He should be fucking, the fuck out. Absolutely. He's a fucking asshole. But also too, it should happen. But these people should have your day in court where look at this is what happened. Boom, boom, boom. And and these women should do what they but need also, to do to these guys. Why why to do take we... them out. Okay. Also why do they focus on what the woman did, how she reacted instead of the initial behavior? That's what I that's what pisses me off. You no one wins by telling the story, you know, like the Roy Moore accusers. I'm guarantee you that he's a fucking pedophile oh. piece of shit. Oh. The Roy Moore accusers. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you say that. Yeah. I mean, why is it that you discredit you you want to know why I'm saying you and looking at me. Look around the room. General. So why people do people, don't just come people across as the problem is they discredit the women. Even the Dustin Hoffman thing with John Oliver last night. Mm. What you, happened? I didn't see that. What happened? Do you guys read the fucking newspaper? Not when you're around. Okay. So John Oliver did a panel for um John Boyd. No, John uh, Oliver. That's okay. hilarious. Did a panel let's just, let's for watch Wag Midnight the Cowboy. 20 years of Wag the Dog and he's and he approached Dustin Hoffman about his sexual harassment and he got pissed off and he's like, "Well, that's not the way it happened. That's, you know, it happened. It happened multiple people said it happened. Why can't you just admit it and say, "Well, I was a fucking asshole." John Oliver uh, was great. Well, okay. Let me ask you a question, though. Is anybody in this room? Uh, have you ever been over the line? Have you ever done inappropriate shit as a woman? Have to, you ever, to a to man another woman or, or another, a man? another woman? Yeah. Have you ever done anything where you're like, oh shit, that was fuck? Have you ever said anything? Oh, I'm sure. I'm have sure. you ever said anything that would be like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said yeah, that? Yeah, I've said insane, unspeakable me too. things. Every oh my day. god! Like everybody I love, and I would say them yeah. again because they know where it's coming from. It's ridiculous. Right. Oh please, of course. Yeah. Tuesdays with stories ever, every Tuesday. People, people, I get <laughs> emails from people all the time with these like you know these long emails about you said this or they take some or and there's even jokes that I made years ago that I wouldn't make now because you're just like oh that wasn't I really got, cool. I got people but, writing to me about Colin touching my breast all the time mm. on. Uh, he did it on Tough Crowd, Tough Crowd yeah. and what do you and, say? Well, what and do you I say said to that I let him. Yeah, I let times. him. I allowed him to do that. It's but none it, of your fucking business. But they, but would you, I do that now? But those no, people probably... would love to take him out. They would love sure. to make that big and take no. him out. Absolutely. That's if what it that is. got steam, you could get something on anybody if you really wanted to. Right, but it, it's also. There's a you're. I feel like you're mixing it all together. It's like I, I because think, you have to. There's a line that has to be drawn. You know, I think as comics we don't have boundaries and we have to. You know, I I just think but that I think rape that, and yeah. unwanted. You know, groping and yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah that's, it knows that's, that's it. Yeah, Done. yeah, touching you know that. touching somebody. Yeah, great. But asking, hey, can I jerk off in front of you? No. Okay, I'll see you later. Right. That's a different fucking thing in my uh, book. I agree. And okay. I'll stand by that, and you can attack me. You can fucking hate me. I don't give a fuck. In my eyes, that's a different fucking thing, and you don't deserve to have okay. it all taken away. Okay. I agree. I agree, but I also feel bad Every for the single... waitresses and the housekeepers and the, you know. What? Yeah, these well, women. Well, she's, she's pointing out that, that it doesn't just happen. There's women without power what with she's shitty saying fucking is that, jobs. Hang on, stop yelling. What she's saying is that. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> as her emotional can you let representative. Your, can you let your lawyer talk for you, please? <laughs> Go ahead, as Rachel. As her e-rep, Judith really feels. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that these kinds of situations, uh, you know, groping and all kinds of shit that happens to women, they don't just happen in the celebrity circuit. So right now, there are all these celebrities that are coming out, and these and, and then it's finally coming. Different things are coming I to think light. I it's great. And, and so that maybe people yeah. can clean up their act and cut this sh cut the shit yes but it's what, great what judy's saying is that and then there's these other classes of people that th these things are still happening to who don't have the same like voice and spotlight and yeah, stuff they're like weak that. people and they no, they're they're they, need their their job. Oh. they need their jobs <laughs> kidding, you know <laughs> before you guys fucking throw shit i know I'm See, if somebody says something in a reasonable voice <laughs> i'll believe anything yeah, i admit it. it's funny but, though because if you <laughs> even i joke like that and you you literally what the fuck it that's in real life that happens Right. And they don't get the joke. Right, but I just stopped myself. No, you because but you're also, funny. You're part a of it. It's a weird connection, though, because it's like, yeah, there's, there's like, 
sexual harassment and uh, misogyny yeah. clearly is like a, is an epidemic and has been for 50 years. Yeah. I, I told this story. Maybe hey, one, here. Second. one second. One second. For, for, Can you go get uh, me a cup of coffee hundreds. with hundreds two sugars and cream? <laughs> um, right, it's right over there. Just make it, hun. Go ahead. What were you saying? Babe, like, just the two sugars. Go ahead. What are you saying? <laughs> my wife, it, she'll tell me. I think I already said this on the show before. Yeah. But like, she'll tell a story where she doesn't even realize she's telling a story about sexual harassment because it happens oh. so often. My wife, she'll just be uh. telling a story. She's like, oh, yeah, this thing, I forgot about this thing that happened nine years ago. This guy did that. And I'm like, that's fucking horrible. Right. So women are having it happen so often, no, they don't even understand. I've told they don't tales, even, like, and then afterwards people have been like, that's unacceptable. Yeah, that they, they don't even realize. I'm, but... Can I just get my yeah, quick please, point out? And then sorry, we'll go please, go ahead. So it's obviously an epidemic, and it has to change, and yeah. it's like a problem. It's a, but how is that connected to, like, Louis has been erased from FX? There's no history of being on FX. How is that related to women, uh, a, a dental hygienist, being harassed by a dentist? Those aren't mm. connected to me, where it's like, no. He's no longer on HBO. He just fifty million dollars, and you're like, that's unfair. Well, because uh, women, what homeless women get raped? Because you're in like, this culture, what? all we give a shit about are famous people. That's it. That's right. why Trump that's is the fucking it, president of the United it's States. It's this weird. I want to see the movie. Hashtag what? I want to see his movie. Hashtag Ooh. I want to see oh, Louis. Oh, Louis. I, I don't Look understand. He he's a fucking he he came what, out. Woody Allen. Okay. Let me just say something about Woody Allen, and I have worked with Woody Allen. Oh, really? Because oh, I don't wow. have, Ooh. I don't have the, you know, I can't say no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, sorry, I don't believe it. No, I can't do that. Why? I have to work because I have to work. Um, and it's Woody Allen. And it's Woody Allen. But, yeah, but you know, when I think about him and Soon Yi, that's like my girlfriend Elisa marrying Henry, my son. Taught. Bobby, it's, inappropriate. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, I mean, cool. he's he's how old is he? Sixty. It's I okay. mean, he 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 raised her. He was her stepfather. It's, it's disgusting. I mean, that how she was sitting but on how his old? lap at Knicks games. Uh, like we, I mean, look, we all discussed that pubes are the cutoff. <laughs> you said you raise a the child as their stepfather. <laughs> I'm See, fucking. Keep, why? Are, know, I, why are you joke. treating me Bobby, I can't like keep I'm a news? You switch personas too quickly. Yeah, I guess it's called. <laughs> I'm fucking kidding. I mean, it's and the, the, the logo. Question, Some people very that, adamantly argue the that, that, yeah. that he had a right to do that because it wasn't technical. People actually make this argument. You know, What's like the right? People try to say that because he hadn't. You know, he didn't. He wasn't blood related. That it was okay that he like, yeah. groomed her. And okay, but let me ask you a question. Okay, so if he called you today, Rachel, right. if if Woody Allen called you today, I I saw you, I I I, I saw your stand up, I really like it, and uh, I'd like you to be in my next it's movie. A, it's a Rupert great Capote. Thank you. That yeah. was. That was. Um, I, 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 I want you not. A, wait, stop. I want you to be the star in my next movie. It's gonna be a great movie, and it's about this comic, a female, blah blah blah. Would you do it, or would you say immediately fuck you? I'd like to think I would not do that. But you would. But you gotta ask Gabby. Yeah, because you can. You can't. You can't. Rachel you know, I has can't money. Just declare something. I, hypothetically, Rachel has I, I some would... money, not a lot. But it's a Woody Allen I film. I like that. I appear to have money. I definitely. She doesn't have money. <laughs> yeah. You have a she career. Have, You're she doing have her okay. boyfriend have the fire department because she couldn't even call a locksmith and keep <laughs> her dignity. Uh, that was for her own <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> what about the guy though? What she about the Griffin guy? The guy from the Tick that did the Woody Allen movie and then comes out and tweets, I regret it, I shouldn't have oh, done it. That's that the worst. guy, fuck that guy. Yeah, Can we all agree gross. on that? Get out of here. The guy went, did the movie, said yes, shot the whole movie, got all the money, gets the movie, gets the credit, yeah. and then tweets, looking back to three months ago, people I really regret it. Yap. It's people like, got come a lot on. to what? yap about. What's people, that? People just love to yap, though. They've got a lot to, me and I, and ugh. But Am I alone right, on they, that guy? Gabby, they wanted, they, yes. Gabby at, yeah. dressed as a mechanic. Dressed. Mm -hmm. Dressed as a mechanic. Grease monkey. How do you feel? Uh, would you do the movie if Woody Allen came to you right now and said, I want you to be in this movie? That's hard because I have it shouldn't be. You Then yes, you would do it. I think I think I would do it. Good. You'd be in a Polanski tomorrow. Good. There you go. <laughs> but it's not because I agree with what he's done, but it's because I have no career. I Look, at, I have no... <laughs> well, obviously, like, on this but what are you saying, though? It's like, okay, we have to do things because... Wait a minute. You have to do things that you don't want to do because you have no career and you need the work. Right? But isn't won't that person stop working? The bad person stop working if you say no? If everybody just says but we're no not one's working with you. Say no. No. He's so there's got somebody such a, he's so got it, year. it's like a comic thing where we don't have a union. So if right. the clubs go we're paying you less, fuck you. And we say well we're not working your clubs. Right. Then we the, all have to the go. The middle will step yeah. up and just say we'll do it. Right. It'll be a shittier show, right. but yeah. whatever.
So it's the same thing. Right. And it's also hard when you're a fan of that person, but you're not a fan. You're a fan of their work, but you're not a fan of the person. Right. You okay. Know, like, and then I'm going to say something that's really yeah. bad yeah. and not politically. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Hang on. Can any music? I got some. Okay. Go. When, when, when women, on, and, then I, and you can all, you everyone music. can scream at me. Hang on. We're getting you music. Wow. Who's that? Henry. Henry Phillips? Oh, we're going to have to pay for this. Yeah, turn that off. We have to pay for it. They'll flag me. Oh. All right, good. It's the Mirror Channel more thing. All right, good. I when like when e. women walk around, yeah. okay, with their asses and tits hanging out. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, my oh. What about when Bobby does it? Hey. And then get <laughs> upset. Now, yeah. they don't deserve to be groped or anything like that. But of course not. Then you get upset that someone is propositioning you. Oh. That pisses me off. Oh, interesting. The cat calling. Ah, well done, Mike. Let's Am I wrong? I don't what know. Do you, well, proposition. You can't ask. I mean, uh, there's flirting. differences. I, I wouldn't. I, I mean, I. Like, How much? I don't feel like that. No, I, I, I think personally, I think that it's one thing to say like you look good, mommy, or something like that. It's another thing to like start saying very specific sexual things they want to mm-hmm. do to you. Right. I don't think that that's cool. You know, like nobody. Right. Needs I'm to hear talking that. about disgusting. women. I'm talking about you know. You dress provocatively, revealing, mm-hmm. um, and then you get upset when a guy approaches you. I'm, and, and I'm just, I'm can not. I, can I? Assume? I don't believe. But men- there's also differences of approaching. Because right. Exactly. A guy can come out if a guy comes up, and everybody has their own comfort level. But if a guy comes up and you know asks you out or, or something or says right. something, that's to fine. You, that doesn't make then me don't feel get... unsafe. Person- right. Personally, everybody has their own things. But if somebody, you know, I've also had such disgusting graphic things. Yeah. It's just like, I'm fucking walking to the train. Sorry you, about that. Yeah. It's all right, Mark. <laughs> right. It is, and Mark is. But it makes you scared. Does it not make you scared? I mean, I'm. No, different. that feels. Yeah. I mean, when I get off the train at night and, yeah. and I run all the way to my apartment, all the way upstairs in this wild, frantic way and shut my door. And right. if anybody watched me, they'd be like, what's wrong with her? But right, I'm not. Yeah. And I don't sit around all day talking about this stuff. But it's right. a thought in your mind. Right. Always. All the time. Because you know people people that have been assaulted and and every the, yeah I walked out every apartment I've ever lived in I walk up in this wild fr- and I'm not I don't right. think about it throughout the day it's just like you just want that period right. of time right it's part it's of your late, life and you're yeah. alone and I've oh, been you got to take that too you got to take he, he could be uh, have a broken leg or something yeah see see what he wants put it on speakerphone uh oh henry we're on a podcast what's up oh nothing he least to call me this morning oh god all right hang about, up all right what about okay. <laughs> no, i don't know that's why i called you to ask you oh god oh. hang up all right, we're on a podcast. Shut up. That wasn't me. That was him. <laughs> All right, I'm on a podcast. Who? <laughs> <laughs> what you No one you know. Robert Kelly, <laughs> Rachel Feinstein. Joe List. That's not even I know a- Joe List. All right, I Mark wasn't. Norman. That's not even Mark a dig. Norman. He but didn't know who it was. He said, with who? Comics. How, why is that a dig? Rachel, is Rachel still with the firefighter? Oh. Yes! Oh, that's inappropriate. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Huh? You have I a little. I remember it. You yeah. have a you have a little time when she gets out of the they cab until out, she gets like, to her house. What? What? She told us about him. All right. I said they only had gone on like two dates when she told That's us about That's right. Him. Yeah. Oh, Isn't okay. he my baby? Are you trying to take down my whole Who's podcast? My baby, Henry. All right, I'll call you back. I love you. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. First of all. I want to just I go back to this. So much. Oh, this high school shit you guys all pulled. No, we didn't say. Oh, we weren't zinging you, you senseless. What was he fuck. saying? No. <laughs> it was just funny that he was like, "With who?" Like he's like, like well, who? "Who? Anyone good? Exciting?" Yeah. yeah, it's funny. We're not saying no, fuck let, you. All right, Bobby. I'm going back right, to man. Rachel because right, I feel bad that she has to fucking live her life like that. Why? Because, why? What are you talking about? I feel she bad that she has to feel unsafe. She doesn't have to home. feel safe. Yeah. She can learn kung fu or keto. It's not, it's not that. that. And it's get like, a dragon fist. I mean, I'm so lucky <laughs> that I'm gigantic because I can put on my hood fist. and people think I'm a god. Like I'll, also, I wear a hood. Have to put also, on hood. stuff happens to us. Like, <laughs> like, like Bobby. Judy, I'm so sorry. I had to go for the joke there. Okay, I'm looking. Go at me. Ahead, this is Rachel. what happens sometimes at the podcast, was... where you have a good joke, so you make it, and then you feel bad because you're hurt feelings. I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. About... <laughs> That's why you can't have women. Can't on. Use this. <laughs> All right. Is that? Did you jerk off in that? No. All right. Can I, I mean, also the thing is, like, the, it, when you know, like when we're on the road, sometimes a, cu- a club will say, 
this has happened to me many times. We we put our comics up here. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You know, and then I've had a guy tell the club. What does that mean? Where they put the hotel, oh, yeah. where they put the comics. Oh, up. that's the and worst. And I had a guy yeah. show up outside my door. You know, wouldn't leave. I called downstairs. I ended up leaving. I just went to go stay with another comic because wow. he was just showing up. Yeah, you I can't had, tell. When I was yeah. in Vegas, they, it's crazy. just there's all these dangerous things that you don't always realize, especially on the road as a comic. Like mm. when I was in Vegas, this guy came up to my room um, it, to to like change my lock because uh, the, my key wasn't What's working. What about you and your locks? Well, I, I, that is She's true. Jewish. It's a theme. But no, the, 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 the magnetic <laughs> thing wasn't working. I am a Jew. That's right. Locks. It's, but, um,. <laughs> But anyway, so he came up to fix the magnetic yeah. thing on my door. And then later at night, uh, this is the guy that worked at the casino. Later at night, in the middle of the night, he walked into my room at like. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. In the middle of no the way. night. What? Now, oh. and now, now my boyfriend at the time was in the room and jumped uh, up. He didn't know that the guy was with me, though, because when I got there, I was alone. What was he doing? What was he wow. doing? He was going to rape you. Right. That guy's a piece of shit. That guy should go to jail. Yeah, and I told totally. everybody. Ten days. And at the, you know, wow. And, yeah. So there's just these things that you have to think about all the time, you know, right. and then, not to mention the stalkers the crazy people oh yeah yeah this yeah. guy was sending all this stuff to me like he got my address remember somehow guy. remember and he was sending all that yeah. crazy insane stuff to me and i had to get uh, like uh, call the cops a couple yeah, times you've had a few yeah there's been some what? some it's well, like it, you know huh? what though I mean, the way you dress. Yeah, you do <laughs> right, dress Judy? Like, a whore. like a district attorney that's right, Judy? not no i'm just uh -huh. i'm whatever wear a scarf like judy she I feel that way. I walk, if I wore a fun-loving scarf, that oh. this would all. I'm a dude, hard. but I walk home, I'm nervous. I'm looking over both shoulders. So I have a woman. I can't even uh, imagine. It, it, it's good. I'm scared you have of the same torso up. as your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, that's hurtful to both of us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. I get shit from gay guys. You wouldn't believe. It's like crazy dick pics. Gay guys love me. I don't know what it is. Well, you're very you're attractive, cute. You're a cute but guy. it's only gay. And you keep going to gay sites. Wait, yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's I, it. Gay guys just send you dick pics out of the blue. Tweeted at me like the DMs, all that shit. It's all like. But crazy. you're a good-looking guy. I mean, but you're I a young get, guy. I used to get a lot of gay stuff too. But I never get any gay. Tons of gay. Send me a <laughs> gay dick, would you? Gay. I'll forward you the jizz pics. Moment. I love a dick. I don't mind looking at a dick. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but I'm saying if I was a woman, this would be a lot. I'd be like, holy shit, this is a. Uh, but I, can I say something? I, though? I got yeah. my my Robert, wife. You could say something. Go ahead. When my wife, when we met <laughs> back in the day, sexy Bobby, I I I remember we I, I say this. I got my wife being sexually inappropriate. Yeah. I, I pulled. My, we were on. We were making out. On a and rock. I, I, I on a rock, and I took my dick out. Great country. And she was like, "What? What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm just like what." And then she, <laughs> God, she, what a great conversation! But she grabbed my dick, and and then we fooled around, and <sighs> that's my wife. I have to yeah. vomit. But that's my wife. Yeah, and, um, I took my dick out. My previous girlfriend. My on mother, our first date. my mother, who's a fucking bleeding heart liberal. I mean, I fucking bleed. I mean, would literally suck JFK's cock right now. Derek, that's a I mean, good blowjob. Doesn't care that <laughs> Bill Clinton did it. He didn't do anything. Who cares? Doesn't. Just totally look who that never happened. He did nothing to women. He's great to women. Lo bleeding out this whole Louis thing. She's like, I don't get it. Huh. She's like, she wanted to start a, a petition because she does a, a shop. She has a hair salon in her house. All women of all ages coming out through all, all, not one of them. And all the women I've talked to. No. Hey! <laughs> Here you go. Um, make it a scarf. Um, everybody was like, they don't get it. That that whole thing, they just didn't get it. They, I mean, everything else they understood, but that they were like, what are they doing? What what's going on? It's all celebrity. If this was a plumber, this would be, they wouldn't take all this shit away from him. It's because he's the top. He's the biggest comic. I just think that we're evolving as people, and things when you there's things that I understand that all this stuff is happening <laughs> and it's all good. The Harvey Weinstein's, the casting couch, all good, all the bullshit that's going away with minorities. Okay, everything's. Everything's changing for the better in Hollywood. That's great. I think it's great. But I, I, I just feel like taking people down for being human, making mistakes, being creepy, and treating them like they're fucking criminals is, is we all need. I fucked up so much in my life. I've done so many bad things. And I've done shitty things to women. But uh, I've learned to be a better person by having a relationship, by making these failures. Saying sorry or being like, I don't want to do that again. And having a wife and then having a kid and having women friends and blah, 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 blah. And learn how to be a better person. Yeah. It was In also my 40s, but I've, I'm a better person. My son 
is going to be taught a hundred million times better than I was taught. We as boys who became men were not taught anything. We 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 shown porn and mags. No one came to us and taught us about sex and how to treat a woman. All we would open a door and say thank you, or blah blah blah. We were taught shitty things. All our movies, Porky's, stick your dick in a hole, watch women shower. Yeah. Totally acceptable. Deepdiscount.com, <laughs> $8.99, Porky's Deluxe Edition. Well, that's, that's not true. true. We already read that, that read. But oh. this read oh, right here. Read. Oh, God. Oh, here we pork. go. Read. But I'm just saying, do you, you understand? Yeah, I hope there's a place where people can talk about things and 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 well, get people that well, it's just that right ha- can like learn and have these yeah and say this is and, inappropriate and this is something unhealthy or inappropriate or unacceptable right. and well, now I'm going to behave this way instead. But it's got to be a place that it's got to be case make. by case. You know, we're yeah. just lumping everything together. Well, they said that's what my therapist. We got into a big fight. He said it's the tide. Uh, and it just takes people out with them, and it's like I don't agree with that. Yeah, I do. Think, I think that all the stories need to Both come tied. out, and everybody needs to change the the culture and make it suddenly unacceptable, so we don't have to deal with the insane things that you know I had to deal with, and then people before me way, way, way worse, you know. But I, but I do think you can't. Yeah, um, I was going to say fry them all in the same pan. <laughs> Is that I an like expression? that. That works. <laughs> Bobby you, just looks so disgusted. I, I almost called Keith. <laughs> I almost, I was going to like never do the show again. <laughs> that really, that would be the last. I thing. feel I, sick and I need a nap and I apologize. I was going to rip all the plugs out and that would be the last thing everybody, fry them all in the same pan. <laughs> that that be the was last. so unacceptable. I just got, it disgusted me as it was coming out of my mouth. I just well, it made me that. so disgusted that, listen, um, no, anyways, you guys need a great talent. No more black. But I do think oh. that the more people talk about it, the better because <laughs> it's got to change. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. You got, all right, it right, does have to change. All right, listen, shut up when you change. Let me Don't just get this yourself. read. Right, well, you know what? Just change it. Turn and face the change. Just change it. Look out, you rock and rollers. Time won't change me. I can't change time. Chase. Chase time. Chase, nice talking. Where are you going? Time may change me, but I can't chase time. Look, man, I gave it a shot, okay? David Bowie CDs on Deep Discount. I remember when that song came out. I remember when that song came out and it was popular. Were you 14? I love that album. That was. Were you a lesbian yet? I was a lesbian. Did you have a lesbian ice cube out of the tray? Yes, I did. I still tried to get that joke in. Hey, what if I wanted to hire someone, (laughs) Bob? Wow. If I was looking to hire somebody to be like intern on my podcast. Buddy, it's funny you asked that. I need an intern so bad. Well, you can find one. If you need a talent, great talent for your business, but short on time, you don't have to get lost (laughs) in a huge stack of resumes, Judy, Rachel, to find your perfect hire. You just need the right tools. Smarter tools, Joe. I was putting you at the end. You got good tools, Mike and Gabby. What if hiring hey. could what if hiring could be easier? What if um, it could be way more streamlined, less consuming people? So even when you're busy, you can still be smart about the way you hire. If you're hiring, you know that quality hires keep your business moving forward, but you also know it can take a lot of time to find the right candidate for the job. Are you hiring, Joe? I am we're looking to hire. You, Sarah you know and I what, need a maid. Do you know where to post your jobs to find the best candidates? I would go to ziprecruiter.com personally. Is that a good place? I'm telling you right now, it is really hard. I've tried to hire people for the show, for the network, but ZipRecruiter right now. Can I say something yes, about ZipRecruiter? Please. So my lesbian lover, Elisa. Yes, can you just say lover, we get it. Lover. Um <laughs> she runs her family's real estate business. Yeah. And she needed a, an assistant because the last it. one was a fucking mental case. Yeah. And she went to ZipRecruiter and found the best. I mean, she it loves really her. They They're great. great. With ZipRecruiter, you can also post your jobs to over 100 of the web uh, leading website job boards uh, with just one click. So one click over 100 web of the web's leading job boards. So you can uh, rest easy knowing your job is being seen by the right candidate. Then ZipRecruiter puts it into smart matching technology. They have this technology they have that they uh, built up uh, on their computer system. Uh-huh. It's software, smart matching mm-hmm. technology goes to work, actively notifying qualified candidates about the job within minutes of posting, so you can receive the best possible matches. That's why ZipRecruiter is different. Unlike other hiring sites, ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on the right candidate finding you, Judy, or Joe, or Rachel, or Mo. It finds them. You can even get a head start on the interview process by adding screening questions to your jobs and 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 uh, to help you identify the most qualified candidates so you don't have to waste time sorting through a stack of resumes. 
check it out. No wonder 80% of the employees that post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. Uno day for you, Michael S., Mushy Mike. That's uno. That means one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spanish. And the easy-to-use ZipRecruiter dashboard more? lets you manage your hiring <laughs> process from start to finish. <laughs> All, all in one place. <laughs> ZipRecruiter, the smarter way to hire. Find out about ZipRecruiter right now. Find out. Find out. Find out. Dude. Just read the rest of that right there. That last page. Come on, Gabby. Take a sip of water. Come on, Gabby. Gabby. You don't have to Gabby. 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 Okay. Okay. Tells you to Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes and industries to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now, Bobby's listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for dude, free. Dude, That's for right, free. for free. I'm giving away gifts. My uh-huh. All my sponsors are rocking. And ZipRecruiter's rocking for all my fans. Free. Go. ZipRecruiter.com slash what dude. <coughs> ZipRecruiter.com <coughs> slash what dude. What dude. What dude. For free. Dude. All right, so check it out, Judy. No. <laughs> what? No, I don't what want is, to. No, you got. No, R- I don't want Rachel, to. Rachel, Jewish. Yes. Judy, definitely Jewish. Oh, yeah. yes. Mark, Jewish. No, I no, wish. Mark Jewish. loves Jews. Big Mark, fan. Big I wish. You know what? Did you do your DNA? He wants to be you a Jew. What, so you should do so your bad. DNA. What? You think Seems so? Yes. Like I just had a. I had a lunch with someone who uh, is from Stockholm. Well, she's Israeli, but she moved to Stockholm. She Great said, syndrome. syndrome. You should do your DNA. Her husband, that's what happened. He really I bet you have a like whisper of Jew in you. I a whisper? Just a, just a Jew's a, whisper I'll take a Jew whisper. <laughs> what, why are you saying he wants to be, loves to, wants to be a Jew? Why? Because he t- tells me that frequently, and I feel like he respects me more because I'm Jewish. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I feel like I get I, yeah. from Mark, I feel like, you know, some people assume, think that I'm, you know, they an anti-Semitic person. You feel like they assume all these things about you and they know you're a Jew. With Mark, I feel like I get credit for qualities I might not even possess because yes. he's so <laughs> fond of Jews. Big fan. Because this I'm thing? sarcastic and Jewish, he assumes I'm intelligent, even if I'm not saying something specifically intelligent. Let's not yeah. go crazy. That must be nuts. I mean, look. Watch your mouth. That must be nuts <laughs> to be a woman and Jewish. Mm. To have You could actually have somebody hate you because you're a Jew and because hey. you're a woman. Hello. Hello. Triple, Dyke cake. I was getting to the <laughs> fucking trifecta. I I wanted to I wanted to go oh to the God. double pl- the you double. You can't say kike. You can't say kike. Why? What about the other one? He might be a you can say dyke. Oh, you can't right. say kike. And some whisper? people are even. Did he call you a dyke kike? Yeah. When I'm bored, sometimes write that, write that down for the name of the podcast. <laughs> when I'm bored, sometimes I Google <laughs> Jews control the media just to see the things people say oh, about Jews. Oh, that's funny. It's yeah. fascinating. You bait them. Yeah. I, what do you mean? I just Google the words like Jews control the media, or I, it's fascinating to read the articles about what people wow, think Jews are collectively crazy. up to. Yeah. People aren't just don't just dislike us; they're actually scared of us and our collective yeah like you're aliens yeah yeah like i took there's like a video of like a bunch of guys in suits with briefcases and in the woods and they just run into the woods we all meet and it's hysterical funny and i i did some gig once and this cab driver was driving me back to the airport and he asked me where i was from and i was like new york city and he goes I went there once. It was crawling with Jews. <laughs> and then he said, and they were all out celebrating their holiday, Rosh Hashon. And he said it like, <laughs> Rosh he said it, like it was the most terrifying uh, campfire story that had ever like been told. And, <laughs> and they had cult. one hook, and they all wore diamonds around their neck. <laughs> <laughs> From one street yeah. on in Manhattan. Yeah, people really do think that, that like, I mean, a guy told me once, in all sincerity, like he believed I'm this. Sure. You're he a Jew? That yeah. there's a part get out of here. Put that mic down. Take those heads. Get out. Take it out with me. <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. Now, did they make you wear the jumpsuit then? Yes. <laughs> Here's what I don't is that, know. Is, that, that, a, is that a hand-me-down from your grandma? <laughs> oh, shit. That was terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, I just got that. <laughs> great grandma. <laughs> I was, uh, great She's 20. Sorry. I ruined the joke. Uh, uh, hey, get off your phone, would you? Get off your oh, phone. Right. She's running no. showbiz. What do you want her to do? She's. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Who'd you just that's find? I'm so successful. Um, you missed my good Holocaust joke I made. But Orthodox is crazy. You gotta yeah. admit that's insane. Like you go to Borough no, no. Park, it's bananas out yeah, there. Yeah, that's not that's not modern. Well, they're no, modern. That's, that's, no, that's not. That's what people always assume that I speak for all of them, so they go up oh, to no. the no. They're out of Jew their Jew fucking right. mind. They're right. not right. Jewish. They're not no. Jewish. They're just and they crazy don't consider people. us yeah. Jewish either. Yeah, that's they don't, true. We are not Jews in their eyes, especially not me, because my mom converted. So hello, I'm a lesbian. They don't have eyes. Have I mentioned I'm a lesbian? They have horns. So you're Jewish. I'm Jewish. Yeah. I mean, but do you go to? 
sad. I was bat mitzvah baby. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Me too. Damn. I don't do anything. You you now. My, you look like I the do. typical Christmas baby. I know. I look very <laughs> Aryan. Christmas. Oh my God! You're like if I was gonna Incognito. do a Christmas Carol story, like with this a Jewish little name, girl though. was just yeah. you know oh, I need huh? I, my Gabby, family's yeah. Yeah, I keep talking over. Wait, fucking do you everything. have both parents? Judy, Judy shut up. My dad. Judy, say that's Judy. it. Okay. Just your dad. Judy. Judy, no, shut the fuck up, so Judy. Much. Judy, what? shut the Not enough to marry one. <laughs> <laughs> Judy just yeah. fucking talks. You just yap over everybody. Remember the time we were doing the podcast and Don Myrera sat there for 20 minutes while Judy just yapped. And then he just, <laughs> he turns to you and he goes, Judy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dom. Uh, I fucking love that I guy. was He passed away. Up. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. Well, the booze. Horrible. Like, yeah, well, I mean, it's not the booze. I don't think it was the booze. He was older. He was older, but he wasn't that old. I feel like no one's talking about it. Nobody That's did true. talk about it. The Louis thing eclipsed it. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. yeah. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, he yeah. didn't. Yeah. What are you kidding? Are you kidding? Front page. You didn't know that? Pull it up. Who? Yeah. Dom. It was sad. Dom. Was you didn't sad. know that? What? Yeah, no. we're kidding. Stop, oh my God. stop, stop, oh my God. guys! I, I stop. Uh, we're kidding. He's not dead. You want me to call him? I'll call him. Oh Don't God. call him. He's not dead. <laughs> what if he dies today? Uh, what if he just oh died? Oh my God! I uh, hate you. What's so amazing so is that was going on for like a minute and a half much. before you even you heard it here first, folks. Oh my God! Holy, he's not <laughs> now dead. Now I Don't have even to text him. Don't type sad. it in. <laughs> Ronnie K, the prop comment. I cock blocked him a couple times at Montreal Comedy Festival. Why? We went out and there was this woman and he's like and she was like, Oh my god, you're so interesting and we're talking. He's like and then she left and he's like, What the fuck? You <laughs> fucking her. cock blocked me. I was like, Oh my god. Mm. I'm so much hotter than you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you took her out? No, we she was he that she was amazing. just like talking to me the whole time and not talking to him and Ju- he got really pissed Ju- off. Dude, did you ever fuck around with a guy comic? Over all no. the years. Come oh, on. you know who I kissed? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh boy. Oh, Ralphie May. <laughs> Mom's Mabel. Amazing Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan oh, Katz. Oh, John I love John. I love the amazing Ronnie Jonathan. Ronnie Dangerfield. Danny Kay. <laughs> Shut up, Jerry. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> These are old jokes, right? Uh, uh, that was pretty good. So funny. Uh, Judith Fields. <laughs> <laughs> the court jester? Uh, I was saying how far we're going. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Cha- Chaplin. Chaplin. You're not so fucking young. Uh, How I'm, old are you? I'm only 47. Oh. How old are you? I just said I'm 55. Oh, my God. <laughs> shut <laughs> up. I think you can get some senior citizen stuff, legitimately. No. I think you can get some discounts. Joe, shut the fuck up. I'm not up. joking. I think you can get some discounts. <laughs> That's a cheap movie ticket. I'm in, yeah. I'm in AARP. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you That's go. That's 50 when you're 50. He's what, in AARP. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> no RP and yet. What is it? It's, it's the American Association of Retired Persons. <laughs> I'm in, I'm Are you retired? <laughs> no, but you get Stop you yelling. get like what? when you go to Dunkin' Donuts if you order a large coffee. Oh my god! You get a free donut <laughs> every fucking look day. Please juice oh, control the something. media. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bobby writing. never turns fifty. Or just look at the cartoons. If you even. <laughs> Put like Jew money. The cartoons I'm are being so attacked insane. by these he two won't. Jews. He won't. <laughs> Listen, what the you fuck? Should have, you should I actually want to talk about that. For... Can, I, can I talk about that real quick? Oh, yes. The images no. are insane. Whoa. Look at these things. Oh, it's Ari Shafir. Oh, they have oh, a... Jesus Christ. It's, it's literally the pictures it's are every insane. tour post that Ari ever did. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That's his headshot. It is. <laughs> Wow, but double wow. negative. Somebody See on Netflix. Somebody once asked me if a Jew can smell <laughs> a coin no for, from over 70 miles Well, that's away. true. <laughs> that's science. <laughs> but they truly, I love the, Wait a minute, look at the piggy bank one. Look at the giant <laughs> snout just searching for coins. So and, awful. You know wow. what? And people all these this, people who hate ha- it. Yeah, all the people who hate Jews, <laughs> Jews should have to live without whatever Jew, Jews have contributed to the fuck. Why the fuck do I have the hiccup? Oh, it makes me so happy. It's God yes. saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judy, I love you so much. You know that. You're my Look best. You're my Jews. best. Um, I tell you this. Go to the... W- I, I dealt with this this weekend. I know we all deal with this. I went to... We put up the podcast this week. It was more from Aruba. It wasn't the regular one here. Um, And we put it up, and I... You know, look. I, the comments on the fucking podcast... I, I look. I don't give a fuck. And, and I talked to Zach about it. I was like, I never read the comments. I never go to Reddit. I don't go to any of the shit. I don't read it because I know it's just terrible, right? <laughs> what would you read? <laughs> Too fat. Come on. That's hilarious. What, what is it? This girl is so fucking annoying. By the way, what happened to No Sugar No Grain? 
Yeah. I mean, let's, these let's are, but wait a minute. Let's, let's, he, he actually, Zach, Zach, these, I was like, Zach, these are really, some of them are bad. I was like, do we, should we have these? Are these good? I mean, these are doing no good to anybody. This is normal, Oh, my though. God. I've been traumatized, but there's some guy named Mr. Twat Waffles, and he hates me so much. <laughs> I love him. Oh, boy. He great. trolls me everywhere. He's so twat angry waffles? about me, too. He's so angry. I'm like, Mr. Twat Waffles, why? You just gave him a plug. But I know I did, but there's... I did. Here's the one You're that right, bothers but... me, though. I No hate, no put down. Please shed some pounds, Mr. Kelly. We don't want to miss you like Patrice. <laughs> Well, you're no Patrice. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, are you really enjoy back in the day stuff? Need to introduce uh, Ray to Ralph's. I don't know what the fuck that. But the, he, you actually erased some of them, which wow. I didn't. I, I told him I didn't want you to do. You did. You shouldn't have. I mean, dude, it's bad. I mean, they the, they were they're fucking. Well, they're, I think they're also just... a couple people write things, and then other people were like trying to one up them. I don't know. I know it's so terrible. They're the worst level of human being. Like, what is it? It's, it's that these people <laughs> have a platform. People who don't deserve a platform and are jealous because they sit. They have no fucking life. I know, but what now have a platform? But it's not the platform. We, the platform has been there for a long time. Ow. We can't say it's new. It's been there for twenty something years. All right, I gotta leave soon. Go. You can leave whenever you want. I thought. How much longer <laughs> is the podcast? It doesn't stop when you leave. Seventeen. It stops minutes. when I stop it. All right. Um, don't you, who are you? She's a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> She's only half. The mother is That's probably true. fucking Norwegian or something. I just what think it's, no, I Irish. can't believe how um, fucking, I can't believe how terrible this shit is. But, I can't believe how terrible these people are fucking vicious. They're so oh, I evil. was reading this shit, like, I was like, oh my God. Some of them are nice. This guy writes, rest in peace, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he wants you to rest in peace. But he put Sad it. Sad face. <laughs> I mean, thoughtful. Uh, let me ask you a question. Let me add this. Uh, sh- but why should I allow that guy, Tin Owl? Why should I allow him? Why should I allow? Should I? Why should I allow him a voice? You can disable. Well, you're giving him a voice now. Slow-bo. I, but, because I think this conversation needs to happen. Okay. I mean, should. <laughs> I mean, look. I know brisket slider too. <laughs> He's lashing out. That was Bobby, I mean? actually. Sabo slabo video. What's Minucci, by the way? Pat from Moon. Moon, Moon that's a fat guy. A fat. That's literally a fat O and A fan. Ah. Uh, and they're saying that they they literally thought it was me. That's like, a thing. no joke. These people are so angry, but they watch everything. They listen to everything. They're obsessed. I don't understand that either. There was another guy, Sloppy Joe Yum Yum, that he used to troll me. That's a great Asian place. <laughs> It was a fun name. Scroll down again. Korean barbecue. <laughs> What's the one at but the bottom like, there? Why are you Yo- so actively furious? And why do you have such a playful name, but you're so angry? Right. Why Sloppy Joe Yum Yum? And then just shut up, you yes. dumb bitch. I, like, Jesus. I think they think they're ball busting. But here's what they're crowd. saying. They're saying, yo, Bob, at least check out the scale once in a while. Make sure you don't gain any more weight. Lose some weight of those pounds. Wait, man. You, you, you'll you die like Patrice. How many if people things think don't are, change soon. Are actually concerned. They love you. Yeah, but that's. I don't think I'm gonna. I mean, am I really as heavy as Patrice? No, was? he was taller. No, no, no. Well, no. you're using the camera you were using <laughs> the the Wemo Wemo Mevo Mevo. Sorry, the way it like the way it made Gabby look giant on the live podcast. Yeah, it's, it's not a great. Uh, angle for you. No, on well, listen, I, I love you, Mike. Thank you so much. But I am. I mean, these guys do have a point. I mean, I am. Oh, look, wow. that I am big. You look worse there than you actually do. Yeah. And yeah. these idiots spelled Tom Connor's name wrong. Fucking dummy. That's Ray. her. Who said that? How Who? about how oh. Ray C, thinks he's C. like fucking president of Aruba? <laughs> <laughs> he's Aruba so Ray. Funny. And he got that uh, a sai bowl, a sai kai. Acai bowl. Acai bowl. Yeah. 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 That's all he has. They're so good. I know. I love, I love that gig. That's a good great gig. gig. Good I mean, it's no a great gig. Great. I've had people write things on comment section that have traumatized me, and I just, like what it, you can't listen to it. I mean, I mean, it doesn't traumatize me anymore because I'm kind of immune. I get like I can't. It's my own fault. Like what? But, <laughs> I mean, I read it all, and then I fall into like a strange. Same. Mind. And I and I've got to really. You can't do it. You'll fall into like a low grade de- de- derailing depression if yeah. to read because they just they're so mean, and they'll give you a new thing to like not even think about. Like some guy was like. You know, dumb bitch in her man voice. I'm like, do I have a man voice? Like, just like right. things you never have a man about. voice. Thanks, oh. but you know, sloppy it's... Joe, yum yum. Get, Get off your you. phone, Judy. <laughs> I get either um, be on the podcast or don't up. be on the podcast. I get. I get um, I'm gonna get on my phone on your show tomorrow. No. Yeah. 
I'm just, gonna treat you the that, way you treat me. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Will you tell your client? I hate, I'm I hate sorry. that. I hate when I do that. But I just had. I have a fucking this oh, you fucking like, you asshole like... suing me for a fender bender at fucking Costco that they had. They had uh, had to have surgery. Literally nothing happened. Mm. Fucking assholes. Anyway, so they. Someone once wrote to me that they should have a. They should have another Holocaust just for me. <laughs> <laughs> like a one-day Holocaust? That's... Dad, I wrote back. Really? Do you, why <laughs> kill all those people? When that's you a, could just, yeah. a, a big oven. <laughs> yeah. A solo cost. Yeah. He oh said it's God. a big oven. You can't say that. <laughs> ah, well, it's too late. All right, sorry. About it's already that. out. Yeah. We'll have to scrub it. She'd have to duck in the regular. Now, were you ovens. popular in high school? No, I was All a right. weird skateboard right, kid. He's not popular but... now. I was a weird <laughs> skateboard kid too. You were? Yeah. You I rode. Uh, I had. I skateboarded. Really? I had one of that Jason Lee board with the little I was black in the and white cows all over, like, and it said Jason Lee in the Burger King sign. I, yeah, of course. I know you're about to tell me to shut up, Bobby. Go ahead. <laughs> Say I had more no than one. Cares. No, I mean, that was just <laughs> thrilling. Please talk about your skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about fucking internet hate. The worst is when the no, comments, they nail it. They go, oh, I do do that. I do. Uh, yeah, the sometimes that they the really yeah. get you good. Or there's something that you do, you did, and you go, I shouldn't have done that. And then someone's like. And they call it on you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, they're I mean, right. I walked out for this. It was like, you know, when you walk out at the beginning, you're special, and you feel so stupid. I'm always like, what's my dumb body doing right. suddenly? That walk, and you're like, I've, I've done something with my wrists. Right. I don't remember what it was. I've always done it. You just feel your whole body feels dumb. Right. And some guy wrote, look how stupid her body looks <laughs> as she's walking. But Whoa. I thought. Oh. Look at her dumb movements. She, she also, can't even walk. You, and I'm like, you walk exactly out on a stage, you fucking yeah. piece of shit. Well, that's that's what I'm asking. Though. See what you look like. That's what I'm asking. Should asshole. we? Can you stand should, there? Should we allow this? Should we? We allow comments. We allow them in our lives. We let. We could literally on Twitter say, "You have to. I have to allow you to be on it." On these comments, we could douche them. Everything can be eliminated if we wanted it to be, but we choose to allow to, it in. To let them in because we're afraid of them not liking us. Yeah. Well, you can block people. I block people all the time. I do. I Me too. I love it. Too. I mute them. I don't. I block them. Fuck. Why I want do them you to block? know. I want them to know because I like when they get mad because it's like, wow, dude, you're <laughs> in your 30s, you have a family, and you're mad at another guy for blocking you for saying that I'm a fat fuck and deserve to eat a bullet. And you're right. mad. Somehow you're mad at me for for blocking for block. It doesn't make sense. But well, I do to me. feel like they're like children. They have to know there has to be a reaction. I don't their, know. I don't but know. I don't, I don't know how to deal with it. I just know I try really hard not to read it. And then some days I just get pulled in and I I read and I'm, I'm it's so you know you really think you did a good job yeah, and it distorts yeah. you. It distorts your perception of everything you've done. As soon as you I did read, it, you're like, oh I, god, maybe I do just absolutely. Stink. I didn't ask yeah. me anything for just for laughs. Uh oh. And I, they were like, okay. I go, look, I'll do it, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be horrific. It's gonna be horrific. As soon as these people find out that I'm doing this on Reddit, it's gonna be horrific. Right. And they were, the just for laughs people were literally. Um, like one girl was almost in tears, like <laughs> reading the horrific shit that was being said. <laughs> it was just they couldn't even find a question. I was like, I told, and I was just, I was, I go, listen, ask the questions they ask. I'll just answer them, right? It's because funny. you can't get around it. You asked, I asked to do this. I right. put myself in the arena. What is that? When you eat a steak, does it also make you crave cock? Uh, did you know Riz Boss will be playing? Yeah, you know, it was fucking More of an crazy. albino orca, Lebanese, yeah. house maiden, or morbidly obese Mexican. That might have been about uh, Mike. Uh, but yeah, that's tough. It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't even go to this fucking thing. Rachel gets those. You get those things on Twitter like I get with all the Jews. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. That, and every time I do Jews. something, they say it's because there was a Jew <laughs> yeah. producer that made and there was a meeting and it yeah, was but so then stupid. You, don't It'd be you funny have if it really, Hitler, that really existed. Like the yeah. Hitler, Jew, like when they yeah. make a thing, you're always on there with me. <laughs> yes, they do. They What's always that? do a big Hitler collage <laughs> for us. Yeah. Hi, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, stop, stop. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. No. Uh, hashtag big fan. In Star Trek, uh, The Voyage Home, what message were those uh, aliens sending you? <laughs> now, mind you, with this came a picture of a whale. Right, right. You so need the in, visual. In case the people didn't get it, which some of the kids didn't. I was just like, oh, Jesus. I was like, listen, man. That, that comment got sub comments. What does That's that good. mean? You know, like his comment got a bunch got, of laughs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
One from Just for Laughs. I know they build a community around yes. just trashing us. Uh, yeah, the guy from Look at the guy from Just for a Laughs. Wrote, community. I just spit my one. The guy, the cocksucker, giving me the thing. That was wrote, Jeff Singer. Wrote. I just spit my water out. <laughs> so he was laughing. Oh, this world's a shit place, well, yeah. and there's nothing we can do about it. I think you just avoid eye contact with all the shit you don't want to look at. Mm -hmm. Look at the shit you do, and uh, let's uh, let's let's get. Let's get Louie back into fucking show business. Yeah. Um, anybody? Yes? No? Yes, just me? Please. Just me? What about you, Joe? Are you in? I, I love him. I love I love Louie. I love I'd him like to get deeply. a fucking something before I die. What do you mean? What? Like a You're show. on the podcast. I'd like to get a show. You want you a, show? a show? You have a show. Ten no, years. I want a fucking, I want something that makes me some dinero. Well, talk to the Robert? Jews. Talk to the talk, meetings. We're next, meet tomorrow. The next meeting. <laughs> Look in the yeah. mirror. What's the meeting? What time's the meeting? We have, we, have, <laughs> we have the media meeting tomorrow. Have day, the meeting. Talk to the, the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Get in on the meeting. All the, what somebody said something to me was like, "All you snouts get together." Uh, it's just so preposterous. Jesus. They just, they, people really think like this. They do, and it's not fair yeah. because if there was a meeting, I would love to attend. Sure. Rachel, you have I'd a beautiful a nose. <laughs> Great, Thank you. Rachel. <laughs> Rachel has a beautiful nose. And you know what, Judy? I have a huge nose. You, I, 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 you know what my thing is Shut with girls? Shut up, Mark. I can't see Joe or Rachel. <laughs> Listen. Why couldn't this whole like sexual revolution you, happen when I was in my 30s? It sucks. Judy, Judy, you know what my thing is? You know what my you thing is? You were in your 30s in the 60s. That was the big time. Shut the fuck up. Do you know what my thing is, Judy? What? Big no I like a big nose. You do like a big love nose? It. Me too. I've heard Bobby love say it. that many, many a time. Love it. Chelsea, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, Beautiful. Are you, that, that's you, a little too You big. and Mark have both are said you that. Kidding? I'm kidding. I love a honker. I, I love it. I love a honker. A pronounced nose, I think, is sexy on a woman. Yeah, and a man. I yeah. agree. Fucking I love think it. you have a big nose. No, you got a normal. Are you nuts? No, it's huge. A very normal nose to no, me. No, you don't have to a who? Big nose. Well, she's eight feet tall. It's all proportional. I'm not Dude. eight feet tall. Dude, okay, I'm six two. All right. You know what? I can't fucking help how tall I am. Yes, you could. I hate that shit. It's like you know, I have been listen. I have been listening to how fucking tall I am. Yeah. Tall is a compliment. Yeah. No, eight models. feet tall is not compliment. You wouldn't say to a a, a beautiful. No, it's Mark being obnoxious. Yeah. I gotta read another read. Like, read. read. You have to know every day. How many more? I went to school. Every There's fucking three. day. I went to school. Three? Got yeah. Guys, successful. this is not six every reads. We did three. Day. Really? Every day. Five. Wow. So shut Brooklyn? the fuck up. Five All right, guys, real quick. No, we got one more. Guys, real quick. Ready? What's next? E Harmony and. Oh, yeah, just this, I could and just Brooklyn. Radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, Brooklyn. And, oh, oh uh, hey, listen. <laughs> What's your name again? Goldie. Uh, Judy. Yeah. Take Get off your phone. I will be on my phone the whole... I'm not coming no, tomorrow. I'm, I'm not no, coming. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not showing up. Get on your phone again, and I'm kicking you out. Best sheets. Bobby <laughs> loves and misses you, and he feels when oh. you're on your phone. I want to talk I, about I this with Rachel you. I need Rachel to come tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Listen, listen. I want to talk about this one with you. All right, here. Yes. Th this this company's awesome, and you oh, should use it. I was just thinking. What? I was. I'm not kidding. I was on the way here because they have a big ad in the subway. I was like, yes. I want to try their fucking sheets. Yes, I have them. I have. No, they sent them to me. They sent this to me, and guess I mean, what I, I did? I got another one. And I, I like them, but they're not that. Great. I got them. I bought them. Uh, they gave them to me, and then I bought them. They're fucking unbelievable. And guess Brooklyn? what? They, you know what they're great for? Uh, gifts for Christmas. Oh, Kumia Hanukkah, 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 Han
F U L O P. He's full of baloney. Full up. Not Jewish. Their philosophy. <laughs> their philosophy. What's their people names? deserve simple, beautiful home essentials without luxury prices. What's their name? Brooklyn again? and cuts Jesus. out the unexpected. Vicky and Rich Phillip. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Unex- Thank you, Gabby. Shut up. Let me get through Bobby's the fucking. Take re- a life, Judy. Let me get through. Get off your phone. Give me the. Give me I'm some. looking up the phone. Uh, you're like Louis J. Gomez. I want to throw things at you. All right, sorry. Louis <laughs> J. Gomez. Wow. Look at this from Business Insider. These sheets are one of the best purchases I've ever made. Ever. And she I, really, really, I really have them. I love them. If wow. You, I love wow, the sheets, too. Wow, they have really good reviews. In all seriousness, 12,000. 12, listen, Judy, 12,000 five-star reviews. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's the That's fastest the betting brand in the world. Fastest growing bedding. Bread, 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 they started bread. selling sheets in their apartment. Huh, yeah, gross. Brooklyn and, now, and Sheets. Yeah. Bro- listen, Brooklyn and Sheets were named winner of the best of online bedding category by Good Housekeeping. They have versatile colors, patterns. You can mix and match and to complete any decor. This is luxury bedding, underpriced. You have to try these sheets today. I'm going to oh do Oh, my it. God. I love them. Look at them. They're so cute. I love my Brooklyn. They're awesome. But I'm I love my sheets. Them. I'm getting them. Try these sheets. No I know you love them. Check this out. Here's oh, the deal. Yeah, Brooklyn.com exclusive offer for my listeners for Christmas time. 20 bucks off and free shipping when you use promo code what dude at Brooklyn.com. In fact, York. it's so con- they're so confident you'll love the sheets. 60 night satisfaction guarantee and lifetime warranty on all their sheets and comforters. There's no reason not to try this. Okay? Try these sheets for yourself right now. Or try it for a gift for the holiday season. Give the gift of luxury. The only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use promo code WHATDUDE at brooklinen.com. Okay, wait. This is how cool they are. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. They did an interview with the husband and wife team of um, Brooklinen, and they asked them, who would be on your dream dinner party list? Okay? Yeah. They said Louis. (laughs) Keith Rich. (laughs) Keith Richards. That's a great one. Uh-huh. Diana Vreeland. Love it. Steve Jobs. Yeah. Jobs. 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 Not Jobs. Jobs. Stop making him Jewish. Andy Cohen. Ah, oh. I love Andy. Hey. Nostradamus. Oh, that guy's crazy. Amy Sedaris. Ah, oh, of course. And her husband. Boo. All oh, right. Well, she well, said her husband. She said her husband. <laughs> hey, here's one for you, Ju- uh, Judy. And there's one for you, Judy. What? Ready? And you and Mark. Yeah. Um, online dating. You do it? She's I'm a in a woman. fucking relation. <laughs> is that what they call them? It's a girl relationship. Grill master. Grill relationship. relationship. Grill bait. If and you're trying so online easy. dating, Mark is also. No drama. Gabby, okay. you single? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Everybody. This is for Gabby. This is for Gabby. This is for everybody. This is for yeah. all my fans. No, everybody you, else is love. I just want to read it. <laughs> Can I just read it? I'm in a all depression. Right. That's married. why I'm wearing I'm just saying jumper. Gabby's not love. That's it. Please She's dressed like a fucking prisoner. In her own she's mind. She's all mixed up. Outfit. Yeah, she's, look at her. She's a pretty, she's like a beautiful, like God gifted her with this beauty, and she tries to dress like a fucking mechanic. I would say more pretty than beauty, wouldn't you? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I think, I, I think it's a cute look. I like your look. Thanks. Mm. And your beauty. Whatever. Cute you is some, a downgrade uh, from pretty. That's some horseshit girl stuff. No, but, did. no, I think that kind that's of, like, that kind stuff. of ironic you don't like that boyish that. look is cute. Bubba. Yeah. You don't like that you outfit. You should be able to You're wear elegant. whatever the fuck you, you want. You wear beautiful you. stuff. That outfit, you despise. You'd make fun of it. No. Yeah, you I would. I love it. I like those so army green military pockets. You know? it, I like to perfect. pretend I'm... I, can I see your, I like can I see your sh- foot? Let me see your footwear. What are you wearing for footwear? It's not great. Can Let I see it? Oh, it's Crocs. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, those, oh, are, those are nice. I love those. those. Are nice. I like that. I a, love sneakers. Yeah, All right, go ahead. Do your thing. I got to go. It's trendy. Yeah, I, I like my Brooklyn. like Pumas. Shut and- up. <laughs> you asked a question. <laughs> so, I love getting him pissed off. It's I, so funny. Uh, <laughs> if you're trying hard. online dating, chances are you've run into what? Lazy text messages, dead-end conversations, and random matches that don't turn into dates. He's on eHarmony. <laughs> He's on eHarmony. He's oh, trying he to is? sign up. You can get. <laughs> you know yeah. why I like eHarmony? I, they yeah. allow the gays, unlike some other. They do. I thought yes. it was Christian. Christian Minkle? No, I think it's Christian eHarmony. Which one doesn't allow? You gays? can't listen. You can't get to know you somebody know just by. You know sandals at that resort. Uh, yeah. No gays. <gasps> Is that really? right? Yes. How well. do they know? Do well, they do research, background checks well, beforehand? Go in and you're be in a fucking huh? Okay. 
so e harmony yeah. anyways uh <laughs> You can't get to know someone just by a picture, okay? eHarmony is unlike any other online site. eHarmony takes steps that other dating sites don't in order to find you a more compatible match. They are built to help you find lasting, meaningful relationships, not shallow hookups like most of the people on this show. They have helped over a million people find their perfect match. eHarmony uses years and years of science data and psychology research to send you the right matches. eHarmony brings compatible people together. There are plenty of hookup sites out there. That is not what they are. Right now, my listeners, which I know you're a lot of, you guys are alone. I know you need this, and we got a hookup for you right now. You can get a free month with eHarmony when they sign up for three-month subscription. Enter my code DUDE, D-U-D-E, at checkout. Stop wait, waiting and start your journey to a satisfying, meaningful relationship. It can be fun to play around with online dating apps, but when it, you're ready to fall in love with somebody and have a meaningful relationship, when it, when you want it to be real, when you want to find that perfect somebody, there's one app that's built to bring you real love, eHarmony. Come see how eHarmony can change your life. Go to eHarmony.com and get started. Enter my code DUDE at checkout. All right, I slapped that up. DUDE! What's, what's happening? Wow. That's the first time I ever had to shut all the mics off on this show. <laughs> <laughs> ever. I just got scared the way I did when my dad would like, scold me. Like, yeah, that was like, like, really scary. You yeah. know when dad was serious? That was it's fucking not, terrifying. It's not you. Okay. It's not you. It's not you. It's not, <laughs> not you on the couch. It's not you, Mike. Not you, Mark. What? It's Mark? I was on my phone. It's you. <laughs> it's fun. And you know what? It's... Oh, wow. That's one of the funniest sounds I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> For the folks at home, Judy just threw her shit at Bobby. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is on my video. God, that was a <laughs> made a great sound. Thank That's you for good. listening to another episode of You Know What, Dude. We'll see you next week. No plugs. Oh shit. Oh, oh hair plugs. Yeah. Are we back on? All right, go ahead. We're on. Go ahead, Rachel. What do you have? Just, what? Uh, you you could go to my. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh boy. Hang on. Ready, Rach? Go. Oh, what? What? Uh, go to my Twitter at Rachel Feinstein or website Rachel Feinstein.com. What is it? Rachel Feinstein.com. Why dash Feinstein? Because the Feinstein was the regular one was taken, Bobby. By a law firm? <laughs> yes. But there's another, there's also another Rachel Feinstein. Why are you getting mad at me? I just asked a question. Well, there's, an, because people always ask that, but there's another Rachel Feinstein that's really Who are you looking at? famous. Look at me. my website for a second. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> but th she's really famous and yeah. she's a sculptor yeah. and she's really fashionable. Yeah. And I always get offered things for, and then I get unoffered. Like, like they, Vanity Fair called me and they were like, we want to honor your fashion choices. And I was like, I do make some, they've been there intrigued. I get it. You know? <laughs> and then I tell everyone and it's humiliating. I told everybody. I was like, Vanity Fair's notice, you know? The new district and then attorney they line. they softly uninvite me, and it's so painful. <laughs> I've had a couple of soft uninvites. They said Oprah wanted to meet me, and I was like, you know, maybe I could see. Like, she's curious, and she finds me fascinating. <laughs> right. And then I was like, I told my manager, and I canceled a gig, by the way, to go to, to meet Oprah. And it, it turns out it was the wow. other fashionable Rachel Feinstein. Oh. And then I tried to say, can you tell them I'm, like, upset, and I, and I still want to go? <laughs> And they were like, no, Oprah doesn't want you. Like, there was like a picture of me probably right, downstairs I gotta go. and I wasn't allowed to come story. in. Anyway, all right. <laughs> that was the most fascinating thing said on the whole podcast. Was great. She was going to meet Oprah. And you're on your her. dumb phone texting her. with your seven foot son. Bobby, I Where you wanna... going? What's happening? Call me later. I love you. I'm never not love you. I'm a helicopter mom. <laughs> Bobby, I don't want to put the blame on anybody in particular, but every single person has taken their headphones off. Yeah, it hurt my ears. It was Nobody's too loud today. No, no, it was you my can, ear but we hurt. Can, we can turn them down. I told, I told you, but you didn't really change it, even oh. though I do like you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he doesn't listen to a woman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. No, I like you a lot because you charged my phone and you were very sweet, but when I did say the volume thing, you, you kind of, I didn't feel like you understood. Well, you yeah. say it again. That's the problem. No, I tried to turn it down. Can I ask uh, Joe, what do you have? 
Oh boy, herpes, HPV, um, <laughs> no, no, no. ADHD. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's, <coughs> funny. That's, funny. That's funny. Shut up. I have. Um, <laughs> I have. Uh, oh, boy, the the <laughs> interrupting Judy is really uh, it's hurting my feelings, and Bobby's him. very upset. I'm you know what's going to happen now? I'm going to get a call after the show in 30 minutes from Bobby going, "Dude, now it's a good episode, but Judy. what the fuck with the I know interrupting?" What Judy, I know what Judy. I I know when Judy comes on my show. She, that's what she does. I love Judy. She can do it. She has to deal with all my fans going, shut that twat up. Yeah, that's right. Tell that guy to stop. I'll be at Zany's. <laughs> in, I'll be at Zany's in Rosemont December 13th. No, wait. This has already passed. No, wait. This week. Shit. This week, I starting Wednesday. There. How was it? It was great. I can't wait. I love Zany's. It's good room. Club. Let, let me tell you something. That hotel. Not great. Right? Yeah. And, and the fact oh, that no. you're kind of stranded. They might put me right? in a better hotel. <laughs> no, they're not. They're, you're you're kind of stranded. stranded. It's like a strip mall kind yeah, of thing. And my comedy don't... club is also really good. What? Great club. Vermont Comedy Club. That staff December is lovely. 21st Great city. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been there. Yeah. I've never been there. It's What's up really with that shit? I need to go to Vermont Comedy Club. It's, I can't uh, I ain't been there. Fuck that shit. It's booked by Sandals. <laughs> hey, that's why they don't have me. What else you got? Yeah. Here's what I got. I got the Truth Shirts available at MerchPump.com. Right. You can get yeah. your list, the Truth Shirts. Go to Merch Pump right now. Get your Truth Shirts for Christmas. I want to go to Vermont Comedy Club. Oh, God, I hate that. Um, it's a good Tiffany so Haddish. And, and, and I, I also have your uh, go the Truth Shirts and right there. There they are. And on the same page, your YKWD hoodies are available mm. now. We're going to do a Christmas sale next week nice. uh, on these hoodies. I mean, these hoodies are, I love them. Yes. It's a great hoodie. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, a good one. They look good. I like, got like a logo. So merch pump right now. Get your truth, the truth shirt and your YKWD hoodies right now. Great kiss Christmas gift for yourself and for another fan of Joe or mine. Look at the sizes. They come in medium, large, and bobby. <laughs> Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I mean, I gotta laugh, but I'll still wear Check it. Check out the website. Out of guilt. Are you going to Comedian Joe me? List. Yes. I'll be in Grand Rapids New Year's Eve. Dr. Grin's December right, 28th through the first. Speed it up. I got one I more. Started, I started, but I got interrupted. Are you doing this bragging? I got interrupted Mark, by Darius have? Gold. Mark, uh, what do you have? Uh, no, I'd say um, I'm all over the road. Uh, Albany, Mohegan Sun for New Year's. That's going to be a tough one. Please come out. We're at Laugh It Up Poughkeepsie. And then I got uh, Helium in Buffalo, Helium in Philly, Ann Arbor, Comedy Zone in Charlotte, Laughing Skull, Comedy Attic in Bloomington, Bananas, McGoobies in you know, uh, Baltimore. Helium in Buffalo is another great club. Okay. Great club. So, yeah, I ain't Mark Norman. There. Why ain't they booking me there? Oh. They won't book me at the Helium. Uh, Mike, where are you? Check my website. Listen to Tuesdays. I don't know Tuesdays. if my calendar is updated. Mike, where are you? Where's Mike, get anything? Uh, this week I'll be at Laugh Out Loud in San Antonio with you, Bobby. Uh, you'll be there. I'll be in uh, Corpus Mesquite Street Comedy Club the weekend after that. And for uh, New Year's week, I'll be uh, featured for Lee Barcena in San Antonio. Wow, that's you were great. You so awesome yes. when I was in San Antonio. Oh, thank you. Really? Two, two I brothers. think it was good. Wow. I liked it. I didn't even know. I like I Mike, there. man. Really? I like him. He must have gotten better. Yeah. <laughs> Gabby, Gabby, what do you got besides a I'm in a bunch of bars shitty... and basements this really? whole month. So yeah, you check are. out my you Instagram. Follow her Gabby Instagram. Is Brian. What about comedy? What? what? Nate, what I'm you... doing comedy there. Oh. Gabby, 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 shut up, everybody. What is your Instagram? I Gabby stepped... is Brian. Gabby is Brian. Please check. Yeah, I have a website. Too. Her Instagram is one of the most annoying stories Thank you so much. if you follow it. Because she always goes, hey, guys. Like, there's thousands Don't of people. Don't bring it up. There's like thousands of people. Hey, guys, just want to let you know. Hey, guys. I it's... got to be somewhere at five. It's Can we go? Who's the hot brunette? Can I just say this? I followed What's Gabby, and my, the mm. suggestions popped up was John Bring up my bon site. Jovi. Let's go. Mm. Yeah. Weird. Zach, what do you got? Real quick. Zach, can you get? All right, we got one more announcement right at the end, so hang Hello? in there. Hello? Good. What do I, what's mine? <laughs> Why can't I pull, do Shut my up. plugging? Settle down, you fucking fuck face. What do you got? So laugh out loud this week, yeah. this weekend, San Antonio. Come yeah. out and see Bobby. Oh, I got the Yonkers Comedy Club. I'm doing that, right? Oh. It's literally eight minutes from my house. I'm doing that. It's almost sold out. So if you're in Yonkers or in Westchester, you want to come see me on a Wednesday, please feel free. 
Uh, and then I'm going out there for Mahaffey Theater with the great Mike uh, Calta oh. on uh, the 15th. Cow back face. at the brokerage in Long Island on the 16th, right back. And then the 22nd and 23rd, I'm at Gotham Comedy Club. Get your tickets now. Also, on the 21st, I will be taping the uh, Tonight Show with the great yeah. Jimmy Fallon. Woo-hoo. So wish me luck on that. Gosh. Tune in for that. And then, of course, uh, thank you guys for coming in again. You guys are great. I have to go, too. We'll see you guys next what time. About? on I can't the, do uh, my plugs? Judy never no, went. No, Judith needs to do it. Judith feels ignored. <laughs> Judith feels <laughs> Thank you. It. Judith you didn't feels even attacked. ask me what I'm doing. That's because you were on your phone. And you know what I, I was looking at you my calendar. You know what I you know what I learned about my kid? You have to have consequences, Judy. Oh. And your consequence is this. Oh, all right. So I'm at I'm doing the Home for the Holidays with Cindy Lauper at the Beacon oh, Theater Jackson on Saturday. Saturday. Oh, that's wow. amazing. That's a big one. Can I get on that show? I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing? Oh Little Field, Caroline. Uh, haunting renditions with Elliot Glazer. <laughs> I'm playing the clarinet. Shut the fuck up. Oh, clarinet. Yeah, that's fascinating. I'm doing Caroline's December 22nd and 23rd. That's Atlanta, cool. Atlanta, the 25th. How many fucking weird lesbian headshots do you have? <laughs> 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 Jesus uh, Christ. Who cares? <laughs> um, the sides of you, Judy. Look at that one. God. Um, but uh, judygold.com. <laughs> yes. And I'm on, uh, I'm on the uh, Twitter, <laughs> J-E-W-D-Y. <laughs> All right, you guys are the Judy. best fans ever. Thanks for hanging in Go there. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Dude. And your tomorrow, podcast. Tomorrow I'm on you. Who's going to be on my podcast next week? I'm on your podcast That's right. tomorrow. Right, but it's going to air on Tuesday next Tuesday. I want to thank uh, you, uh, Zach, Gabby, and Mike. You guys are the best. Thanks for helping me put this together. You guys, thanks for coming in. I love all you guys here today, except for fuck one you, of you. Fuck you, Joe. He didn't thank <laughs> you. Oh, look at Rachel's weird body. been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.